A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. This is nice work. It's new, isn't it? <laughs> you know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. Tell me, boy, who are you? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who burned it to the ground? That's him. That's the bastard who led the attack at Scalitz and killed my parents. I'm sure we're all agreed that all this unrest must come to an end. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse than who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him and skewer him with it. to stop to this senseless war. What's up, friends and real ones? Welcome back to the channel. I am Real Grog, and tonight we are exploring evermore into Kingdom Come Deliverance, one of my favorite games ever. I, I adore this game, I love it. If you just are joining us now and you uh, wondered what that last video was, if you weren't here earlier this week, that was the trailer for Kingdom Come Deliverance, but it also did a great job of sort of uh, uh, recapping what we did on Monday night where we explored the first three hours, kind of the opening tutorial bit in this incredible open world uh, 16th century simulation of a uh, real time and real place and real life events that did occur and uh, and and caused havoc and mayhem throughout Europe. Uh, this is set in Bohemia, which I believe is modern day uh, Czech Republic, and basically King Sigismund rolled in with a with a paid for army of Cumans and uh, laid waste to surrounding countryside after try in the attempt to take over the the throne from King Wenceslas, who is a bit of a a, a lazy bones, a layabout, a less than less than desired uh, in the effectiveness of a king. Uh, not that great. So I'm not a perfect historian by any means, and I'm very excited to play it, so I can't think of all the details right now, but I, I know I'm in game, I promise you that much, and we're gonna learn them together because tonight I'm very, very excited. We got through the opening bits, we kind of established who Henry is, where we are in the country, where we are in this world, and tonight we're gonna be going we're gonna be coming up to and then going past the points that a lot of people stop playing this incredible title at. I know a lot of people have said, I, I could only play it until I had to start lock picking or until I had to fight somebody and then I died over and over and over again. We're gonna encounter all those things tonight. We're gonna to face them head on and we're gonna show you why if you stick through it and you go the right way, you can definitely make a lot more headway and, and treat yourself to an exceptional playthrough of a great game here. Uh, it is, a bit more difficult, yes, in the combat, in the terms of how it works, and and this and that, and, and the way you kind of have to manage your stamina and the weight of your weapon with with the weight of your armor and your own strength, all these different things, your hunger level, your tiredness, all these things come into come into play, and we're gonna figure out how to make it work to our advantage tonight. I'm very excited to do so. Um, so yeah, like I said, Monday night, it was a lot of fun. We spent the first three hours. Uh, we learned who Teresa are. We saw the downfall of our parents and of Scalitz, our hometown where we grew up. Everything was laid to waste by the Cumans and the uh, invading armies uh, therein. And uh, we are now driven out. We went to Talmberg, where, uh, where Lord Radzig Kobola also kind of rode by in the night. He was, uh, he was that fancily decorated gentleman that my dad and I were making a sword for at the beginning of the game. And 
he kind of said, hey, what's up? How you doing? Tom Brig graciously took us took us in uh, with uh, uh, Sir Divish, the Lord of Tom Berg, and his right-hand man, Sir Robard, uh, kind of taking us in, looking out for us. And of course, the young lady there, Miss Teresa, certainly didn't mind our company either. So we had a whole lot happen last week. We then said, screw this. We're heading out. We got to go bury our parents. So we escaped Tom Berg. We rode back. Well, actually, I tried to ride back, but I didn't get a horse. So I walked my ass back to Scarlet in the pouring rain, found my parents, and before I could bury them, I was attacked by a bandit group led by, uh, led by Runt, if I remember, no, no, what's his name? I think it is Runt, or something like that. Can't remember his name, but he's a jerk. He's a total jerk, he carries a big stick, and he, uh, and he beat the hell out of me, and on the edge of death, I was rescued by the soldiers of Tomberg, led by Robard, and, uh, brought there by Teresa, our, uh, our local mill wench who, uh, you know, we don't mind it, but it, uh, it was a lot last week, a lot of loss, a lot of change, a lot of acceptance. And tonight we're going to pick up right where we left off. I have not done a damn thing. I've been wanting to, all I've wanted to do is play this game, but I've decided to not do that. I'm going to just kind of play it as we go and, uh, and really keep it fun and exciting. So welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. That was a lot of stuff to get through in the first few minutes, uh, without really saying hello and welcome into all my phenomenal friends and real ones. Uh, Chili Santa, Miss Marin. Thank you so very much for being here. I sincerely do appreciate you. Chili Santa, our poor fish-eyed boy. Henry does have a bit of a fish eye, a little bit. He's, he's a little wide set uh but that's what i like about this game is although we are all playing as henry you you are this one character there's no character creation there is i don't want to say character customization but you can really decide what kind of henry your henry is going to be and mine is going to be well smoked well spoken well read clean smells good and charismatic as hell so <laughs> boy built like a goldfish for now yes henry is certainly a, uh, he's a bit of a goldfish and now in an in a huge fish bowl uh, so we're gonna do our best to get him geared and skilled to the level that he can survive uh, it's never easy in kingdom come deliverance but it is always fun except for when you die when things go terribly wrong when you don't have resources all that stuff that, that all that all kind of sucks yeah but still it's gonna be a lot of fun so uh thank you very much again for joining me i posted on instagram i'm actually very excited i posted on instagram a link to uh come check this out and i saw that warhorse studios the makers of this they saw it they saw the post they were the first ones to see it so i i i would be flattered and blown away if we see them stop into the chat that would be pretty damn cool so uh hey we'll hope for the best but either way everyone who shows up thank you so much for being here thank you for hitting that like button right off the bat uh yeah we're, we're going to talk plenty more about the game as we're going through it so if you have any questions uh, or if you think that i could be improving on something uh definitely throw a comment on the video of course feel free to do it in the chat while we're live but if you're watching this video after the fact throw a comment down there of how you take on kingdom come to Deliverance. What do you do for your Henry? And uh, yeah, do you uh, do you treat him like royalty or like one of the beggars in the streets? Let me know. That'd be phenomenal. But without further ado, I think we're going to go and get started. We're going to start back at the Rete Mill, which is where we were brought um, once the once we were rescued from Scalas. We were brought with Teresa all the way down to her uncle's mill uh, and Uncle Peshek will be a, uh, he's been helping us out for a fortnight now, two weeks of laying down, healing up from our grievous injuries. So we got a lot of work to do to pay him back and, uh, and survive a whole lot more stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this thing, right? So here we are right at the beginning in beautiful Southern Rete. That right there is Uncle Peshek. He's gonna be the key today. He's gonna be helping us out a whole lot. Hey, quite much. So he wants to chat with us anyway, but I'm talking for now, so he can hold on. Uh, so Peshek is a fence also. Well, you know what? We'll talk to him first, but he's going to be really helpful in today's stream. I'm Henry. My, na my name's Oops. Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. 
They might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. All right. you prove what do you got for me? You're a clever lad. I might trust you with something you could really make money from. All right. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, what do you need? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And oh, not yeah, no problem. Caught. I'm sure well, no one will mind that. Think. Totally that innocent and totally fine. Enough, except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job <laughs> like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples. Or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. All right, so basically he's just telling me. I was prepared for. His... Listen, it's about this ring. Yeah, he, he wants me to steal a ring. You want from a body? Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to dis still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Yeah, I'll do it. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. Watch your mouth, boy. If there's any problem, come and see me. Thanks. I'll need it. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. Good luck to you. All right. So that was a lot to say. Just to say you owe me money and go fetch me a ring. Now, definitely got to turn on the subtitles, uh, which is game. Boom. There we are. Beautiful. All right, so now we'll be able to read what everyone's saying. So if I do decide to skip through a little bit of the long dialogue, we'll, uh, it'll be all right. All right, so we are now tasked with getting a ring from Execution Hill uh, or Hedman Hill, which is going to be over in that general direction, but to the southwest. Uh, you can see on the compass there, which uh, uh, I decided to... Uh, I decided to move my camera today, so hopefully we'll be, to be able to see everything nice and easy. Uh... I went with the forest gremlin archer. What? Um, oh, for <laughs> Chili Santa's Hen uh, Henry was a forest gremlin archer. That's quite the description. Um, all right. So this is once again Teresa. What a doll. Now, we should probably get on a bit better clothing because right now all I got are some scraps. But today is going to be very important. I think all my stuff is in the chest. This kind of becomes your uh, your best friend here. This is your chest that you can put anything in. It'll stay there. No one interacts with it. This is just your stuff. Uh, super helpful. Now, I have all of the DLCs for this game, including the, uh, the HD um, uh, graphics pack. But this right here, the ancient maps, one, two, three, four, five, super helpful. You can get an incredible, awesome suit of armor. Um, could smell him from France, I would imagine so. Oof, uh, but so great. All my gear is in here, so I'm gonna take all of this. I'm a little overloaded, but that's okay. Because at least, uh, what's really cool too is anything that was stolen is now marked as uh, not stolen. But you can see, um, there's a little symbol, there's a little like black smudge on the bottom left corner of uh, of all the different uh, pieces of clothing, and I am going to try to, sorry, I, I remember I was trying to do this last time, and that was one thing that slipped my mind, but while we still got a pretty chill setup here, um, I want to, I want to capture my, uh, I want to capture my, my mouse, and why I can't remember where the hell they put that in this is just hilarious. Uh, but how's everyone doing out there? Hopefully you've been doing well in the last few days. I know it has not been long since last we were here, which is exactly what I want. I want to keep getting stuff out to you, uh, having a good old time. And I've been so excited to to play this game again that I just I had to jump back on again at least once more this week. So uh, very, very excited about it to jump back in. But hopefully you're doing well. Your work week's been treating you nicely. 
and nothing's going too crazy. What, what, why is this making it so hard? Uh, that's just hilarious. Camera sensitivity is high. Yeah, uh, so that's one thing that I, I don't like, or that I shouldn't say I don't like, but I just kind of wish that there was a little more customization. I do appreciate that they're trying to give you that that nice, uh, okay, whatever. I, I, I guess the button is just not there anymore. Uh, and that's okay, not a big deal. But, uh, I'll try to I'll try to turn a bit slower so I'm not I'm not shaking people out of their out of their seats with my movement. All right, but we got some gear on. Got some gear. Let's see. Probably need some pants. But there's a little black smudge down there, and what I was saying with that is that indicates it's d uh, dirty, which will affect how people see you and and your smell level and how they talk to you. And this item right down here is brand new to the inventory. That's the Warhorse Gambeson. That thing is incredible, and also the base layer to that uh, to this ancient armor. Uh, to these ancient maps right here. So that's actually, uh, those are, it's the base layer of the armor set that you'll find with the ancient maps. Super, super cool. <laughs> All right, so always remember that your inventory, that's what's on you and found is any chest that you're looking into. That For, for a while, that kept confusing me whenever I would look into it. So be sure you keep those straight. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Let's give yourself a little wash. Now the trough is good for like a quick cleanup here and there, but I'm going to show you the best thing to do, especially if we're going to town. Uh, we are going to be, I'm not going to lie, we're going to steal a lot of stuff today. We're going to become little thieves. Uh, we're going to get a little bit cleaned up here. We're going to go to town. We're going to learn how to do, pick locks. We're going to learn how to, um, let's see, can I wield this properly yet? Minimum agility eight, and I need agility three. Okay, so I've got an agility of two. So if I just keep jumping, I can probably use the shard sooner than later. And what I mean by that, so everything in this game, of course. Oh, that's what I was doing. Dang it. Ah, sorry. Um, everything in this game. Come on, Teresa. Excuse me. Uh, has uh, everything in the game has certain stats that you have to reach to be able to use it effectively. So this sword has a minimum minimum agility of three. So it's a pretty starter sword. Uh, and a good way to get, level that up easily is just to jump. Just jump a lot or uh, run and jump over fences. That's one that I, I, I often find is really, really helpful. Uh, also, my nourishment is at 52, so I'm about to get pretty hungry. Anytime you see one of these and it gives you the option to eat from pot, definitely do that, of course. Um, right now, I don't have that option. Oh no, Miss Marin just looked outside and it's snowing up here in Minnesota, a place that just cannot make up its mind uh, on what the hell to do. But it's been nice and chilly today, so that totally makes sense. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure it'll pass. <laughs> chilly Santa's Henry was pretty much Smeagol with a short bow. That's, that's phenomenal. There are certainly times where I'll spend days and days and days, weeks even, in the, uh, in the forest trying to level up my, my hunting and my bowsmanship. And it can be kind of nice if you get a little campsite set up and you're hanging out, you're just living off the land. It's satisfying. But so, even though you look like a crazy person, just kind of jump everywhere you go. It'll use up more stamina, of course, but you will level up your, your agility skill. Now, I want to see the price. Good day but... to you. What do you need? Howdy, madam. So... This is one of my favorite places on the planet, uh, and especially once we get some I'm perks later on. In your, uh, services. And what is it you'd like? Well, I want to have a bath, launder my garden garments. Now, here's a cool little trick. I don't know if everyone knows this, but this is what I do all the time. Especially if you're hungry. Oop, nope, not that one. If you're hungry, thirsty, hurt, but really the hunger 
If you heal my wounds, bathe, and do laundry, that takes care of everything. It'll get you spick and span, get you nice and clean. It'll get your gear looking great. Also, it will fill up your health, thirst, everything. It'll fill all that up. Uh, I keep saying thirst, and there's actually, there's not thirst in this game, but it'll take care of everything. It'll make you rested, full, without being overly full. It's It fixes everything. It's phenomenal. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with that, but let's see how much it is, because I might be... Heal my wounds, have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundering. Yes, they are. Be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Uh, okay, so it costs 30. It costs 30, so that's a lot of dough right now, but I'm also not planning really on buying anything with that small amount of money, so I'm going to haggle. And how much are you willing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lowball her. 23. Since it's you. That's not enough. Now, people will get mad when you try to barter with them. We're gonna see this plenty tonight. But what's nice, the 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 bathhouse ladies are pretty chill. She might reject me here though. You won't regret spending Okay, the money. cool. They're I'm a pretty easy you. sell. They're they're like, yeah, pay us whatever. Um and based on how hungry you are, how much damage, how dirty everything is, it's gonna obviously take a longer time frame. That was four hours, which is a pretty good amount of time. Now, I'm not too concerned about losing that money because again. Henry's going to get some sticky fingers tonight. He's certainly going to be uh, treating himself to a couple of goods that may not be his. This is always a good spot to stop and grab a bite. But look at this now. Like I was saying, in the bottom right, I promise you my cursor is going over it. But the health, energy, and nourishment are all at 100 now, which is phenomenal. All my stuff that I was wearing. It doesn't wash everything in your inventory. So you will sometimes have to maybe do multiple loads if you want to uh, get everything cleaned up. But everything that I have that I'm wearing is now clean, uh, which will just give me a nice boon to, uh, to the way people see me. Huge smell. Uh, bartering system was my favorite. I donated so much that they were all my best friends. Didn't care. I smelled like a tar pit. And that's what's great. If you pay people more than the asking price, if you go into the barter and you give them even just like a dollar more, if you lay it on them, they're going to love you. And so it's a great way to get your reputation up. Um, and once you're at that point in the game where you're able to spend that much or you've done so well that you can do that, it's pretty satisfying, but it takes a lot of work and perhaps a lot of stealing and selling people's stuff back to them. But we'll see what happens there. <laughs> What's up, Wolfram? God be with you. Farewell. Now, you can talk to anybody, but as you just saw, they don't always have anything to say. Sometimes it's just repeated repeated uh, dialogue. All right. So now I've unlocked fast travel. We are re reaching the city gates of Rote. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, halt. Who are you and where I think are you? next... Um, Henry. So I really so wanted to just run up here to get the fast travel point, but I think we're about to head over to Execution Hill to uh, I'm the Pope. to get that ring, George? because I really, really want to unlock to things you. that make this game so much easier, uh, or at least more <laughs> approachable. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty, and mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Yeah, you know, and, uh, and you know, we might have to take it as Chili's pointing out. You might wear the uh, occasional unlucky traveler's gear. You know, it happens. So here's the thing with this game, though, that I think a lot of people uh, get hung up on and, and get rid of it because of... Much like myself... I as soon as you're allowed the opportunity to go explore the entire world, which at the beginning of this stream, when we first were standing outside of the mill, uh, we could have ran all the way back to Scarlet's. We could have run all the way to the far northeast. Any corner of the map is, is open to us. It doesn't stop you. It doesn't hold your hand. It doesn't give you a border or tell you how to play. It just says, yeah, here you go. Here's what you should do. You should go up to the town center and talk to this person or, or you know, go steal the dead guy's ring. Bunch of different things. But the opportunity to go and explore is so 
just just accessible. It's right there. As soon as you open the door, it's like, hey, you can go do this if you want. So a lot of gamers, we're going to run off and we're going to go explore, try to level up. One of my favorite things in Bethesda games is to is is to get out of the vault or get out of the prison and just immediately run as far away as I can and try to level up as much as I can before I really start taking on the story. So then when I'm doing the opening training bits, I know how to do everything and I'm doing it even better than, than the tutorial can tell me. This, you don't want to do that. We're going to acquire a few skills. We're going to do a few things that are going to make it a lot easier. We're going to learn how to lockpick. We're going to learn how to block and how to fight uh, in just a really simple way and take it from there and give us just a baseline knowledge. We're not going to master anything before we before we move the, move the story along, but we're certainly going to make Henry a little bit more of a... Uh, of a smart cookie here. I didn't grab this. Okay, cool. I'm about to say, I didn't grab the spade from the farm, and I'm really happy I just found that one. So we got a spade. Now, this is Gallows Hill, where, as you can tell, people get hunged, hanged, and we're up here to find a grave. I believe the map marker is showing me, but I am going to pick some thist thistle while I'm here. I can pick, ah, whatever. But this, oh, that's not right. All right, there we are. Grave. I remember finding my first armored knight. They took a realism approach and my arrows bounced off their helmets. Body shots worked though. Yes, and that's what I love is the details really are in this game. You know, it's- Cry Nothing Ooh. on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Ah. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. All right. So the body did not have the ring that Peshek sent us here to find. So who else might have the ring of a buried person that they had to inter? I would bet the executioner. Now, here's the problem. Laying right in front of me, that's a, that's a dog. That is a dog that will bark and bark and bark and draw his attention. Um, so... So let's see. I also don't have any meat. I could kill one of these chickens and use the meat to lure the dog, but I might even just try to draw out Herman. John DeCano, a ring nearby. Yes, indeed. Welcome in, John DeCano. That name does not look familiar around here. Uh, so welcome in. Great to have you. Thanks for joining the stream. We're just getting warmed up here. Yes, yes, dog. Uh, now, I'm doing this intentionally because I want Herman to come on out. Uh, but yeah, welcome in, John. If you have not already, please feel free to subscribe and join this amazing community. Appreciate you all being here. But I want to draw Herman out, and that's what this dog is annoyingly doing, is he's going to come on out here, and then we're going to have a little chit-chat. Because uh, right now, for, yeah. I am looking for something, buddy. Here, actually, let's see. Let's see if I've got a... I do not have a torch. Okay, that's all right. Now, Herman's actually a pretty cool guy. I like this guy. All right, so we're gonna try real hard. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue, how much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing Sweet. to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. All right, so that's phenomenal. We uh, <sighs> we have tricked Herman into going to the to talk to Peshek about flour that he was that he was uh, not given the right amount on. We lied right to his face. But now the door's unlocked. We can enter his home. We are on a timer of sorts. Um, he will make it there and back uh, if you if you, if you you dally. All right, how do I rotate? There we go. Keep the, ah, keep the yellow dot. This is definitely different on a mouse and keyboard. I'll tell you that much. Oh, come on, I almost had it. Oof, that was shaky. <laughs> All right. Hold lots of stuff. I'm just going to worry about taking... Actually, you know what? I'm going to take everything. I'm going to take everything. Uh, let's just... Let's just... Let's just rob him blind, huh? All right, but actually, first things first, we're going to take care of this thing. Um, but John DeCano says, well, thank you. I'm new, and I love this game. I adore this game as well, John, and I think it's just so underrated, uh, except for those who know. It's a very much, if you know, you know sort of game. 
and uh and it is such a blast but you're very welcome and thank you so much for joining i appreciate you like i said that's that's great to have you around we are trying to get to 500 subscribers so every single person helps but just having you here that's the important bit and joel benton also dropping into the chat welcome in buddy great to see you this game is very interesting he says which my friend you are damn right it is very interesting and layered and complex uh but it's just the best i really love it wow that's a lot of sweet stuff awesome 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 still not what we were looking for but i'm gonna steal all of it anyway uh i am way overloaded what the hell where's the oh crap does he have the ring on him now oh no oh no oh okay cool i need to get a i need to get a torch i'm terribly sorry about the darkness here um there we go Boom. Now, if you weren't here on Monday, ah, there we go. And some savior schnapps, beautiful. This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth it. No, worth a tin penny. All right, did I steal a torch? Yes, I did. Oh, thank God. There we go. Let there be light. Whew. Okay, so we've got everything out of this guy that we're going to be able to get. So it is time to scoot. Because if we're still here, he'll have talked to Peshik, realized that we lied to him, come back in a huff, and then he's going to take everything off us because it, it's not going to go well. So um, we now have to kind of shuffle our butt back home. I'm going to take my time. Yeah, because you can't sprint while you're overloaded. And you can see the symbol on the uh, on the right side of my health button, stamina bar. That big old symbol indicates that I am way overloaded. I'm carrying way too much stuff. Uh, but that's okay. Hanging with my wife watching. Well, hello, Mrs. Benton. It's great to see you as well. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for letting Joel talk you into sitting through one of these streams. Hopefully you enjoy. I'm going to try to show us the best side of Kingdom Come Deliverance, which uh, is this beautiful 16th century simulation. I am Henry, the son of a blacksmith, taken down by the army of the of King Sigismund and uh, in, his, in his attempt to take over my hometown and country of Bohemia. All right, now, what's really interesting about this game, also, uh, just a sprain this time. Oh, no, I fell. <laughs> Chili Santa for the hat trick. Third time, third week in a row. I fell off my base again because you're so entertaining. You're too kind, Ryan. Uh, you are too kind. All right, so I'm going to try to cut across. This, br this bridge is my goal, so I'm kind of scooting down here, and I'm going to get back home because I don't think I can actually, if I remember right, you can't actually fast travel, uh, can't fast travel while you're over encumbered either so much like any other game uh is this going to be a wild playthrough or a more honorable one you know john my friend that is an interesting question because the way i think about it so henry has suffered a lot and while that isn't the fault of the people of rate or of anywhere in the surrounding areas he's got us he's got to he's got to get the pieces of his life back together and while we won't be taking on too many assassinations you know, we're gonna we're gonna have to resupply the goods. We're gonna have to get some good gear. If we accidentally kill somebody, it happens. It's the it's you know, it's it's a tough time to be alive. But overall, I am I, I'm of the chaotic neutral uh, uh alignment in, in general. But I do think that Henry is a good person. And while we will manipulate, lie, cheat, steal occasionally, he still fights for justice. <laughs> we try not to be too hard on ourselves when we murder. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, Miss Marin, that is exactly what you're hearing. Yeah, that's a, that's a great way to put it. So, you know, the way I like to look at it is every occasion, you can, not everything is black and white, not everything is is one simple answer. So sometimes an iron fist might call, uh, I was a slimy forest monster, no shame. No! First of all, just take a moment at all time, just remember while you're playing this amazing game, just take a minute or two. Everything is just so beautifully done, it's really incredible. Uh, stealing is a morally gray area, 100%. And so, Henry is going to steal a lot. We're going to steal everything. We're going to sell everything to Peshek. We're going to give everything that we can to getting ourselves financially stable. Henry is going to learn how to read. 
He's going to get clean shaven and smell good all the time. He's going to be a knight in shining armor, even if that armor is hiding. What trick were you trying to pull last time, you cur? I went all the way to the mill for nothing. Okay, well, well, I, found, I ran into Herman, who on his way home uh, called me out for for not uh, telling him the truth. But hey, we got what we came for. All right, we're almost there, and it's gonna be worth it because one, we're gonna get some sweet new duds. But the problem is, and this is kind of frustrating too, because you're one of the parts of the of the game that kind of bothers me. But it's it's fair enough. Anything you steal, while it's considered hot, uh, you will draw the attention of guards and, and people around you that are like, hey, that's not your pair of pants or leggings, if you like. And so you will have to uh, be aware that if you're sporting a lot of stolen gear, you will be more notorious uh, than if you're wearing clean stuff. But that said, my number one thing that I like to get up quickly is my speech skill. I like to try to get Henry chatting with people, talking, talking, talking. And what's really cool about that is that's even just having dialogue with normal NPCs. So you can go in and be like, hey, what do you think of Rete? And go through all the dialogue options. And by doing that, Henry comes more affluent in his speech. And that's going to just make that make dealing with the guards and, and everyone above you way, way easier. Um... <laughs> And yeah, but if you don't, tr you know, if you keep his speech skill low, Chili Santa's saying, I like to think Henry gets all clammy and pale and st st stutters. And yeah, if you don't up his game, I feel like that's accurate. That's your your for forest dwelling gremlin of a Henry probably, yeah, wasn't, uh, was probably a real chore to listen to. <laughs> um, all right, we are finally almost back home. Oh, that was a bit of a trick. Hey, mutt. All right. Now, I did waste all that money. But it's okay, because it got me rested and healed up, so I, I don't mind doing that at all. Hey, uh... All right. So... Let's see what's going to be our best bet. So the torch doesn't matter. So the so the bow we can use. You can see none of the uh, none of the attributes are in red, so that means it's all good. We can use that no problem. We could do the same thing with the bludgeon, which is handy for knocking people out, and also uh, uh, blunt is going to be way better against uh, armor, which we're going to definitely deal with in a little bit. All right. So shard is going to be our best bet. We will keep the shield with the Tombird crest. And that's all looking good. Armor-wise, we're going to go into town. So I want to see if we can look a little nicer here. So we're going to get some of this on. We're going to look a little nicer here. Put on a clean coif. Um, keep all that. Oh, I do like the dark. That looks very nice. Fashionable blue hose, absolutely. And -da 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 -da. I want to see the cotillard. Cotillardy. Hmm. I like it, but... I don't think I don't think that's right. I think we'll probably sell that piece. Uh, by the end of this, I I will I will tell you one of my favorite things is my Henry, uh, especially get, when I get like halfway through the game and I've got money to spend. My Henry looks awesome, always super stylish. Uh, early Henry does chat it up, get some charisma. Yes, absolutely, John. That's that's the move. Chat it up, take the time to talk to people. Um, I think that there's a lot of things that I'm going to do primarily just on stream uh, with all of you, of course, but I, I am going to probably level up some like archery and, and charisma and things like that off stream as well. I'm going to play a little bit, but I promise you I'm not going to do a single mission, uh, but I am going to level up some of these smaller skills here so you can see I'm really low. We, we just got started. We, we just started on Monday. Uh, and so we haven't really touched any of this yet, but we'll get there. And look at this. This is a nice little this is a nice little going to town outfit, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, you can also see down in the bottom right that the strength, agility, vitality. Actually, that's the menu that I am now over. I knew I'd be covering something today. That's really funny. Uh, but in the bottom right hand corner, you can see all of your different uh, stats from your speed. My charisma right now is an eight, which we are not getting a buff from flower power. So that means we're going to get distracted by a bunch of flowers and uh and we're gonna and we're gonna smell real real nice uh before we go to sleep i'm just gonna check to make sure that all right cool so i can sell him everything in my 
everything in my inventory. I can sell most of the stuff as well. So uh, what I like to do if I do have stolen stuff that I want to keep, like these savior schnapps, I'm going to use them eventually, but right now I'm carrying six. I'm not going to save six times in a row. Uh, you really want to parse out your your saving uh, just to not use all of your all of your stuff right away. There is a little way that I do recommend if you want to save savior schnapps. Uh, I'll show you right here. You can actually save and quit, which of course I think I'm covering that. Okay, so you can kind of see it next to my camera there. Uh, save and quit. That will, of course, it's like an auto save on an exit. But of course, that'll take you back to the main menu. But I've done that plenty of times in the past where I'm like, ah, I'm at a moment that I don't want to use the schnapps for, but I don't want to say, but I don't want to lose this opportunity. So I'll save and quit and just kind of, I don't know, cheese it like that. Cheap or not, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I think it's just time for bed. We'll, uh, and you save when you sleep as well. We're going to go ahead and go to sleep and we're going to talk to Peshek in the morning. He's a miller, so I think he gets up. He'll be up by eight. I'm sleeping in basically until noon by sleeping until eight right now. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, uh, Chili and John are both pointing out some really great ideas of tipping your merchants a little bit more. It's not always about getting a couple bucks off. Sometimes it's giving a couple bucks more to improve your reputation and everything. Um, and honestly, I probably end up pickpocketing it and stealing it back anyway, which we're about to do the tutorials for lock picking and pick uh, pickpocketing and lock picking. Come on, walk up, get up. When you're over encumbered, it can be a little frustrating because you can't do so much. So I'm going to try to. Oh, come on, come on, Peshek. There we go. Uh, you'll often wonder if you're playing the game, you're like, why aren't people interacting with my uh, oh my god, I'm over encumbered and I can't catch up to him to talk. <laughs> Come here. Uh, if they're in the middle of an animation, the, uh, the game doesn't really register sometimes that you're trying to talk to them. So if you're trying to interact with an NPC and it's staying gray, but they're in the middle of doing something, it's because that's an animation. You just can't interrupt it. Uh, I've, I've got the ring. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. All right, cool. So at this moment, you have the opportunity to, to turn down Peshik's opportunity for employment, shady as it may be, or you can just lean in and be like, yeah, I got you. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Exactly. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. It certainly shall. And so right away, you can sell the stolen There's goods. Some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Okay, so we go into our cell. Weapons. Uh, what? Oh, there we go. That was very strange. That was kind of, all right. That was just acting a little weird there. What is going on with this? Oh, I see. Okay. The controls in this game on PC are a little tricky. I will admit it's, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. It's going to take a little bit of time to get used to, but that's okay. Uh, this is going to be a really nice boost to our early game Dala Dala's. Like these reliable blades, phenomenal. That's great. Minimum agility eight. That's going to take us too long to hold on to them. But we're just going to get rid of those. Nice little bit of money. Look at that. We're already at, at, we already have a potential to make $456. Now, Peshik is the one uh, merchant, dare I say, that... I don't actually uh, haggle with, uh, or I, you know, I don't tip him. Uh, basically, he's he's a he's a fence. He's always going to be, he's going to deal with you and, he, and this and that. Basically, I try to get as much money out of him as possible. Uh, light padded armor. I think I'm just going to get rid of that. Men's coat hardy. I'm going to get rid of that. Old boots. We're going to get better boots soon enough, so I will sell those. We're going to keep our burger slippers on. Old shirt, brown, eh, it's not a bad shirt, but I'll find another one if I need it. Padded coif, that's for when we start to fight. Red scarf, always keep that. I like to keep plenty of fashion items available. I'm not gonna lie, I create outfits. My my whole home chest is full of it, full of, uh, of really nice outfits by the time I'm at the mid game. All right, sell some mead, boom. Spirits, boom, marigold. So marigold, once again, these these marigold concoctions in the middle, those are like health potions. Save your schnapps. These are to save your game, uh, unless you want to do a hard save like I just showed you how. Dried meat, of course, that's just some snacks. 
All right, now I've got Kunesh's axe and hammer still. I'm gonna wait to sell those, uh, but I will sell the rest of my gerbs. Sell that. Oops. But of course, don't let me forget that I have to pick a bunch of flowers to smell nice and nice and delicious. Uh, which you're, oops, nope, nope, nope. Okay, so you'll saw I accidentally sold one of my maps, but what's great is so all this stuff I'm just putting into the basket. And in this basket, you can then go back through and take out anything super easy. But do be careful you don't accidentally close the deal. Hey, Maggie Dietrich, finally here for a Thursday stream. Thank you so much for being here, Maggie. Well, it's phenomenal to have you. We uh we basically are just getting warmed up here. Henry is getting on some fresher duds. We took a shower, we took a bath, we were healed up and, and nourished. We just stole a ring from a dead guy, and uh, we just gave it to our uncle Peshek, who is going to be our uh, neighborhood fence uh, to basically sell all of our stolen goods, which we're in the middle of right now. So thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate you being here. Glad we could get you out for a uh, for a Thursday stream. Yeah, I was I was debating doing an earlier stream today. I know I talked a little bit about that. Uh, Oh, I see. I talked a little bit let's about that on about Monday, place. but I decided let's stick with the normal time. Give people what they right, want. So. But yeah, what a treat. It's great to have you here, Maggie. Okay, so we're going to haggle. I'm going to try to get as much money as possible from him, so I'm going to start at 620. Since and and this sort of thing, basically my rule of thumb is if this You're is your bar, pinch purse. if this is your bar for bartering, I usually go to like at the lowest a third from the bottom. Anything lower than that, you're almost guaranteed for them to say, get pissed, and then you and then you don't get anything. Now, I really want to, well, whatever. What do you say to this? He's going to ask me one more time. We're getting there. Yep. I'm going to try to meet him in the middle. You can see, uh, you can't see that. I'm going to have to find. Hi. Okay, cool. That amount, I can be persuaded. Yeah, Miss Marin, I saw that you like me in the bottom right corner. I like being there as well. This is where it all started. This, this feels more natural. Uh, but now I'm blocking so many important things, but it's, I feel like it always switches. So hopefully, uh, hopefully nobody minds missing out on a couple of small things, but look at this, look at this. We are doing mighty fine, 630 groschen, plenty of dough to go have a little bit of fun, uh, and to, uh, to get us going. All right. Now, since we are going into town, I don't want to, I don't want to wear my mail collar. I want to, I want to look a little bit nicer. Yeah, and the only thing that that actually, well, whatever. Okay. Also, put away your put away the torch, Henry. Will you? Just. Hey, put that weapon away right now. Now the torch is kind of weird. You kind of, I think you actually have to. Um... Yeah, you actually kind of have to manually, manually unequip it. There we go. That'll work. All right, Peshik. Uh, so he's a trainer, and what's really cool is I can ask him uh, to train me in lockpicking, and what that means I is... You're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. Nice. So what this can do is you can actually pay him to level you up a certain uh, experience level. It's not always guaranteed to give you an actual level in that skill, but at these early stages, so like beginner... I'd like to practice the basics. All right. But it'll cost you. Uh, so it can do 60. For 60 bucks, it'll give me a fair amount of XP in my lockpicking skill. Instead, I'm going to haggle a little bit, of course, lot. because, again, we're trying to get that speech skill up. But also, um, let's go 46. Three. We're, we're going to push it here. That's not enough. Cool. Peshek, he's pretty chill with, with the barter. Uh, I'm going to go 48 because I want to try to get it for 50 bucks. What about this? Well, no. Agreed. Boom, beautiful. Now, and by up. doing that, I level up my speech and my lock, lock picking. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. We're going to go ahead immediately going into the player tab, find the corresponding skill that was just leveled up. Drop that down. All right, so this is great. So um, the first option is uh, uh, final offer, which when you're trading, when you're doing those haggling, people get angrier and angrier the more that you haggle, of course. And if you're offering them, if you're really lowballing them, they're going to get kind of pissed off to the point that they'll just say no and they and your odds of getting any sort of good deal are really, really bad. You also lose reputation. So it's kind of a, you know, you, you got to be careful when and how much you're doing that and make sure that you're balancing the scales by tipping people and blah, 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 blah. This gives you one more opportunity to 
uh, stay in the in the haggle before they before they are done with you. So super helpful. Highborn and lowborn, they both give you a plus three stat uh, to your speech level. Uh, I'm sorry, plus three buff to your speech skill with either the low or the highborn people in the in the uh, community. So with the highborn, of course, when I'm talking to nobles and wealthy people, I get a plus three to my speech. When I'm talking to the people of the street, the average Joes, the refugees, I get a plus three stat, stat talking to them. So both are really helpful. First things first, though, I always go final offer. It's just I'm always going to need it. I'm always going to want it. Getting that out of the way early is really nice, especially when every penny ca uh, counts in these early moments. All right, we're doing pretty well. Looking good. Uh, so now he taught us how to lockpick, but I actually want to do the actual uh, tutorial itself. I know how to do it, but this right here. Uh, so this right here, though, is... Um, Got it? Always going to be Good. different on, on every now turn the whole lock, the on every system. Don't stop For me, I have to keep my mouse on oh. this right here where you can see it's turned yellow. Everything else around it gray, but then right there is the sweet spot. And then I'm going to hold the D key, and that will, and by holding D, that'll rotate the lock, and it's up to me to move my mouse at the same time and keep it on the yellow. So it, of course, gets harder and harder and harder. So what I like to do is I'll find the yellow and then kind of find, much like a stud finder, if you ever use one of those against your wall, kind of scoot it till you find the very edge because it's always the rock's always going to rotate this way, right? So if you find the furthest edge and kind of prepare yourself and start sort of moving with it, it'll be much smoother. You well, it and broke the lock pick. that crack could be hurting Kudenberg. You have to watch out for that. Boom. You're a dab hand now. now this now now this is actually Remember? pretty cool. So. He sets this up. The first time you get it, you get a free savior schnapps. Phenomenal. But now I like to uh, just do this until it expires. So basically, I think you have maybe 10 times to do this uh, to give you practice. And every time it gives you XP. And no one gets mad at you for doing it. So you can see, open it. Just do a quick open. Close it. Look away. And it's back to be lockpicked again. So I like to do this because it really cements how the minigame works. And numbers are one thing in this game, but it really does come down to practice. And I think that that might have been one of the things, again, that kind of turned people off when they started playing this game is to get Henry better at things, you have to become better at things, uh, which at first might be a little unappealing. But then once you see yourself get better and when you see Henry operating better and, and the little details that are there, it makes it way more satisfying. And it feels really, really good as opposed to just putting dots in a skill tree or something like that it really makes you feel like you've become a better version of this character. Really, really nicely done. But it's not easy. You know, we're going to get into some archery today, and there's no uh, there's no reticle, there's no way to tell where you're shooting. And up to level 5, I think, if you're not wearing a van brace, you'll tear your arm apart, and you can actually start bleeding and potentially die if you're not taking care of your wounds just from shooting a damn bow and arrow. It's crazy. A quick little refresh on this screen here all right cool 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 but thank you once again to all those real ones out there new and old alike it's great to see you here on this beautiful thursday night i appreciate you and uh i i'm i'm glad that everyone seems to be enjoying kingdom come and i love seeing people come out of the woodwork letting me know how much they love the game too because it's i i've said it a million times already and i'm gonna say it a million more it's just such an underrated and phenomenal title i love it i've always wanted to stream it i've always been curious how it would be received and uh, so far, it just feels like people are really digging it, and so, yeah, I really, I really love to see that. So, thank you for supporting the video and supporting the channel, especially for something a little bit, uh, a little bit different like this. I, I, I want to say, uh, when do you normally stream? So, John, that's a great question. So, every Monday at 7 p.m., I stream on, uh, on YouTube, of course, and then Thursdays are typically. I try to. I try to do them on Thursdays. Um, it's not every single week, but uh, I try to at least do a Thursday or Saturday stream included in that, or at least some shorter form content throughout. But every Monday, uh, 7 p.m., I've been doing that for a little over two years now. We've been building this incredible community of real ones that have been uh, following along from, from day one to halfway through to the to the sort of the new age of real grog. And uh, we just crested our two-year anniversary in February. We had a great time celebrating with that. And yeah, it's been an absolute blast, and uh, yeah, lots of good stuff. You'll see, it's 
So my, my tagline is simply that I'm an open world post-apocalyptic and survival gaming channel and focusing on the survival stuff. And I do think the Ken Kingdom Come has that. It's definitely a lot of survival aspects. You gotta stay fed. You gotta take care of your Henry. But I've been I've been hearing the term variety streamer a lot more lately, and I, I I'm like that does kind of fit. I those are my favorite kind of games to show off. But I do think that you know spending some time in Hell Divers or 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 in uh, Overcooked or whatever we want to play, you know it's. I don't want to keep us too locked in. We want to just have some fun here, but uh, but timing-wise, wow, I can still keep going. Okay, cool. But timing-wise, yes, every Monday, 7 p.m., and while I've floated the idea of streaming in, on other times, like today I was debating about doing a noon stream, but I decided against it. Um, so right now it's, it's almost always at 7 p.m., or pretty much is always at 7 p.m. on any day that we're streaming. I also have a Discord channel that's linked in the bio of this video and on the homepage of my YouTube channel. And through that, you can keep up to date on when we're going live, what we're doing, and uh, what's in store for that week. So feel free to join the Discord as well. We'd love to have you. And if you want to support the channel even more, we got some sweet merch also linked in the video and on the homepage. Lots of cool stuff. <laughs> the archery was tough a tough beast to master so many rabbits got away early on they do but that's okay because it's all about practice okay now we've done we've done the lock picking we've done a great job on that milling craft the milling craft like how to get things out of strangers purses into your own I why not you're handy enough damn right all right so he's gonna teach me how to pick pockets now instead of picking locks I'll okay. stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you. First, you have to rummage in the purse. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out. Try stealing my dagger. Okay, so as every tutorial in this game, it gives you a wall of text, which is a lot to take in, and I don't... <laughs> I know the game, so I know what to do. But let me know if you're playing the game, if, if these screens help or hinder your learning experience <laughs> with what the hell we're supposed to do. Like reading this, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, next page. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, just on first glance, like it just feels like it's a lot of a lot of stuff. It all makes sense, but it certainly certainly is a lot to take in. Basically. I'm going to interact with him once I, you have to be sneaking up, see a sneak up, and I'm going to pickpocket. But then once I start pickpocketing, a little timer is going to start, so you actually have to hold the pickpocket button until it hits the green. And then you'll see it starts to change color gradually. It darkens, darkens, darkens. If it turns too red, he'll notice you. Since this is a training tutorial, I'm just going to interact. Interact again to select the item that I want to steal, which is a stagger. And then I'm going to move back up to the exit door, and that will be a successful pickpocket. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try that for real. <laughs> Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. He's absolutely right. Yeah, if you rush out and you try to pickpocket people right away, unless you're but scum saving, back now. it is... Uh, it, if... It, if you try to do it to anybody, if you're trying to pickpocket and you're not scum saving, it will it will put you in a bad place and you'll be in jail and losing money. And jail in this is no joke. Every time you're imprisoned. Now, typically, I'm not gonna lie, I would do the same thing. I would keep um I would keep doing the tutorial until I level up quite a bit in that. I'm not gonna do that today. I will do that in my off time. I'm gonna level up these skills that are a little less exciting to to watch. I'll do some of that off stream as well. Uh I've gotta pick my flowers though. Uh, let's say hi to Teresa. Have you eaten yet? Yes, and it was very good. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, Teresa, you scoundrel. All right. I love her. So let's go ahead and head into Rate proper. We got a meeting with Sir Radzig. We got to go tell him 
that we don't have his sword. He is the uh, he's the mustachioed gentleman. Like I mentioned, he was in the beginning of the game. We were making the sword for him, uh, and then he uh, led the refugees of Scalitz from their hometown past Tallenberg all the way down south here to Brite, uh, where he's staying in Pinkerston Ca uh, Pinkerston Castle. And we're going to go have a little chat with him, which is absolutely crucial, because like I said, this is a really important part. So we've learned a couple of small skills. It's, it's Of course, you want to go and use those skills right away, right? Go to town, follow the story for a little bit. Do yourself a favor and just go a little bit further into the story. It'll unlock just enough to set you up for success a little bit more than, than running into the world would ever do, because there's some things that just won't unlock unless you do this bit of the story. So you have to make sure you're doing this. All right, now I don't think I've got flower power quite yet. Let's let's see. Do I have it yet? Go to player, go to my buffs. All right, I've got flower power. So again, if we don't remember, that gives us a plus two to our charisma as long as we have those flowers in our pocket. Our lockpicking skill has also upgraded. So let's go ahead and do... Let's do lasting lockpicks. Basically, they will be twice as durable. Boom. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Maggie says, I don't have the patience for walls of text like that. For whatever reason, they just, if it's on a TV or on a computer screen, it just shuts my brain off. And I completely agree with that. When I see it, I immediately just go, I'm going to read everything all at once instead of in order. And I, it just doesn't make any sense by the time I read it. So, yeah, I, I hear you. Let me just play the game and I'll figure it out as I go. All right, so we're a little bit over encumbered. So let's see, what can we get rid of? We are, we are... 2.4 pounds over weight. Um, oh, I meant to sell that. Oh, whatever. We'll sell it in town. Uh, and of course, as always, let me know how everything is looking and sounding. Hopefully, it's coming out to you just fine and it's not overwhelming you. Uh, but let me know. I can always modify things a little bit. All right. No, because I'm going to want to. I'm going to. We're going to want to sprint up there. So, you know what? Spade it is. Nice. I'll see you later. <laughs> now the leg is broken. I'm sorry, Chili. You gotta make that roof better. Put some put put some rails on your on your roof, buddy. <laughs> like just just a handrail, you know. Now again, I think we've become so accustomed to big, fantastical worlds, weather effects that are game altering or just mind blowing and visual effects that are just out of this world and expecting fantastical colors and lands but the real the realism in this game i am in love with i mean look at this right here in its simplicity it is so beautiful and the the real feel of those trees the depth of the color the the layering of everything it's just incredible and this the combination of of flowers and weeds and all that the top the the battlements they're not fancy and fantastical they're legit they're real i love that it, it really i don't know i think it's very exciting all right let's go talk to radzig you can always tell what sir radzig is because it's horse that be the smith's son how on my soul hey what's up buddy him. what are you doing here lad we these guys these were the two guys that were guarding that gave us the cross guard and were guarding castle scallets uh back in the uh back in the opening tutorial that's great i was attacked by bandits bandits attacked me in scallets and why for god's sake did you go back there who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find I needed to bury my parents. Yeah, come on, man. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. Damn right. I didn't even manage that. The lion. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you will be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. Great advice. Right. And just what are you doing here? Ah, uh, you know, no big deal. I just, uh... I'm going to speak with Sir Radzik. 
Not gonna survive. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the night's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. I don't see any sword. No. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. All right. So good to see some friendly faces. Yanoslav and Yannick. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Guard. Hello. So this is Castle Pinkerstein. It's actually the second castle in this um, in this little kingdom here. Uh, the other one is going to be in the what would that be? I guess in the, actually the it's over here in that direction, northeast part of town. So this is kind of like a kind of like the guest, the visitor's castle, a nice place to stay. Now there are a lot of names, a lot of people of places in this and that in this game, and I'm happy to run Your us through graces, everyone later on if need be. I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Yeah, he's Deep not wrong. Fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, <laughs> but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, oh, they'll have to get used to it Spin until bars. the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. So he certainly is getting mixed I reviews from the public, the this Wenceslas. affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked Ooh. us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. <laughs> Hello, Clear Henry. Off. He just walks hey, right it's in. Henry. <laughs> it's just, hey, guys. Henry, who disappeared <laughs> after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? Mm. No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? <laughs> I like how they all perk up. The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. That's very true. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. It's like, where to be a bummer, Quiet, dude. Friar. Yeah, seriously, like, shut I the hell up. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. I love Hannah. you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. 
go to Scalitz and consecrate their <laughs> graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. Oh, hell yeah. Just, left just, bury, I'm just going to put you right in your place real quick. Yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another. So how would we know which were your ordained bones or those <laughs> of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. You're it's damn right. I'm father. Henry Escalus, boy. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. That would be pretty cool. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, puts a robot in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Hmm. Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. <laughs> if he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. I love Hanish. He isn't a peasant, <laughs> it's father. Just he's great. a blacksmith. <laughs> and recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. I'll say. Make the most of it. We shall. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. All right, cool. Yes, so we have basically stumbled ass backwards spare. into becoming trained by... Uh, Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. Trained by this badass to our left here. Accepted into the service of Lord Radzig Kobola. The big old heavy set guy with the beard. That is Sir Hanish, who's kind of the reigning... Uh, he's not the king, uh, but he's... What's it called? Basically, he's standing in the steward of this, of Rete. And then that young guy, Sir Hans Capon, uh, he's the ward. He's, he's a young kid who's being basically being trained how to be a king by Hanush uh, and all of the people around him. And he's he is the highest ranked person here. Like, he's untouchable. He pretty much is the king. But he's in training. You know, he's working towards uh, getting better at it. So he's still a young buck like myself. All right, so here we are in Rete, a bit larger than our humble Scalots. Uh, but speaking of Scalots, who the hell are you? Kunesh, of course. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? Still a jerk. You still owe me. You still owe me? Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get Oof. out of here. Oh, you bastard. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I feel like we should choose this every time, but there's probably a better way to do it. So... As you can see this time, my, my camera's blocking it on Monday, but on the uh, right corner there, you can see... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check something real quick. Apologies. Um, you can see that... 
Uh, there are different different skills that I'm using in my speech. You can't avoid Oops, this forever. shit! I didn't mean to do that. Of course I can. It's you who oh. pissed me off forever. Ah, oh, well. Okay, cool. Uh, so, okay, nice. So this actually gave me many options. So I didn't mean to choose that one. I accidentally clicked onto the screen and did that. But uh, you can see there's a speech, a heart, or a more violent uh, option. And, uh, or you could go with something just regular, like, you bastard, do you want another beating, or just tell him to fuck off. But uh, I'm going to do... Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. All right. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut? That's all I know. Fine. So basically, uh, Kunesh has told us of a little hidden treasure back in Scalettes uh, that somebody buried on their way out of town. But yeah, look at this beautiful place. So this is Rite. This is the Rat House, which is basically where, uh, kind of like City Hall, but it's also got a tailor, a armorsmith, the apothecary, who we actually have to go talk to. And let's go do that now. Let's just take care of this. So the apothecary, that's the person, kind of like a doctor, that come, came in and kept us alive over the uh, fortnight that we were sick. And we owe him some money. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Yeah, I'm healthy again. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear uh, so about that debt. About that debt. So this one, you don't have an option to haggle. It's 50, go 50 gold, done and done. Here you are. Thank you. Yeah, gain a little reputation. Uh, we could also get trained in alchemy. Now, here's the alchemy. thing with the training. You get, uh, you can only be trained once per thing not per person not per trainer but you can only do one beginner one slightly advanced one advanced one master you can only do that once across the world so even if you find another trainer that does the same skill it doesn't matter you can only be trained in that level once uh and i'm not really well, too worried about it quite I'll yet we'll worry about um alchemy in the future i want to learn to read there's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He Nice. Uh, what I just unlocked is a quest for something, in my opinion, very important. Uh, the son of a blacksmith in the 16th century would maybe like one in a million know how to read or be taught how to read, uh, if that. I mean, very rare. So we're going to go beef up Henry's skills because he is the son of a blacksmith, but now the world's his oyster. He can go out and do whatever he wants. Back here, tucked away, is one of my favorite spots, the tailor we can actually i think we can actually sell some stuff and let's see if we can get a good deal on some new clothes too and let's also see how much repairs would be because what we have on isn't terrible by any means but i want to we're also going to roll the dice because he might not fix this stuff because it's stolen so let's see let's have a word about the price i'm all right nice Okay, 50, 54, either way, we got 560. I'll we'll try to get for 42 first. He's going to get real, pa real mad. Yep, It'll okay, so so I just used me. my perk of final offer, which is the one that I took earlier on. So I only have one more chance to offer him a counter offer. So I'm going to go a little bit higher than I normally would, and I'm going to go with 48. What about this? Well, now, a little more and we'll shake on it. And sometimes, okay, cool. So sometimes... Uh, even if you offer something, even if they give you the final offer perk, they'll still say, nah, okay, we'll do it one more time. Um, there, And no matter what, whenever you have a successful thing, you gain a little bit of reputation. But if I was to tip him, it would be even better, of course. But I'm going to try to make a little money. All right. So, so much stylish stuff here. I love it. Um, oops. Uh, now, each person is, of course, going to... You're, you're, you're going to have a better bet finding good clothes and stuff. Uh, at the tailor, you're going to find, you know, armor at the armorsmith, weapons at the blacksmith. 
uh, or at the uh, swordsmith, I mean, obviously. Um, but just in case, if you're ever looking around, you're like, where the hell? Also, get tailor's kits. This is going to be super helpful to repair your own gear and to boost your maintenance skill is highly recommended in my opinion. I think that's a skill that you should definitely increase as fast as you can. So I'm going to add two of these. Uh, you don't want to go crazy buying all this stuff either, but we, you know, we, we got some pretty good dough right off the bat, but really... Alright, let's also sell this. That's a net. Let's sell the Waifen Rock. We'll sell the green shirt. I'm not going to use that. I'm just not a big fan of the red, so we'll sell the olive hose as well. We're just going to lighten our load a little bit here. That all looks pretty good. Cool. All right. And... So I really am, of course, I'm always tempted to buy stuff like this, but you can typically find find all these goodies elsewhere as well. So, I mean, really, uh, this game really benefits from exploration and getting out there and checking every little corner, chatting with people, doing quests. Uh, because, yeah, you're going to find some really, really cool stuff. So I'm just going to stop looking at all this fun stuff now, and we're going to go ahead and cash out. But a quick haggle. I'd like to discuss the... Sure, why not? And I'm doing the haggles now, although, again, I, I could try to increase my reputation, but I want to try to get my to speech this? skill up and You're also uh, save some dough. Since it's you, come now. Very well. All right, nice. All right, so we got some fixed up gear. I don't know if you saw me do that or not, but basically what I just did is brought all my gear that I was wearing and in my inventory, actually, all to 100%, uh, which again, much like smelling and looking good, that's gonna help uh, people liking us more. If you're walking around in torn rags, they're a little less likely to be uh, super keen to chat with you. You know what I mean? All right, but we got a pretty good look going so far. I like it, I like it. Look out. Look out. All right, now we don't have anything else to sell. Ah, jeez, that was loud. Got the town center. Got the gallows. Or, I'm sorry, not the gallows. The um, stocks. Beautiful little marketplace. Little stalls all around. Uh, that over there is our swordsmith. Like I said, armorsmith in there. Apothecary there. Church over here. We got the butcher. We've got a bakery right up the road. And I'm trying to remember if... I think right now, I'm supposed to go and see Captain Robard at the training er er arena by the Upper Castle in Rattay. He's usually there from mid-morning until evening. So that is where we're going to beeline it to, because that is what I'm saying when I'm talking about the uh, the things you got to take care of before you go explore the rest of this world. Go up here, train, and unlock how to actually fight. Because right now, we can go swing around. You could try to survive. It will not last long. You will die very quickly. And, uh, and yeah, it's just... Take a little bit of time and follow the story. Now, also, I'm going to do it on the way back. Basically, I'm going to rob all these houses on the way back. This one in particular, I always find is really nice because it's pretty chill, pretty quiet. You can steal a lot of stuff. There's a lot of, a lot of chests. Now again, I'm I'm talking confidently about the fighting, but I also <laughs> I have very little experience fighting on the mouse and keyboard, so I'm gonna really hope that, <laughs> that I can figure it out and and do it really well. I did some manipulation to the controls, so I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping it all works. All right, what's happening, Captain Bernard? Now, this guy with you. is awesome. I love this guy. He's hard as nails. He's a good guy. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy, Sir Ratzik said. I'm not a boy. I'm a man. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it, then, since that's what Sir Ratzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start <laughs> with something simpler. Uh, I know a, thing, a few things already. Let's do something a bit more advanced. You know, let's roll the dice. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Potato boy. Fine. We'll try something more advanced then. Good luck to you. 
All right, now I wish I hadn't done that, and that I would have actually just went to the tutorial. Very well, That's then. okay. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Ow. Okay, hey, hey, just relax. Hey, dude, wait, with the thing. Did I? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So this isn't going well. So the stamina is your biggest... Ooh, my game is running real rough right now. Stutter City, what? Oh, okay, I see what's happening. Ow. I keep clicking off my off the game and it's All right, I have to change something real quick, otherwise I am going to fail terribly. All right, I think that should that should do it. That's better. Okay. Oof, jeez. So he's going to go through the training with me on it, but fine. That's enough. <laughs> My work cut out it seems. Oh boy. That's yeah. life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. All right. So this is all about zone combat. So you can see his sword is low. So I'm going to attack high, right? Boom. Damn it. <laughs> Wrong, damn it. It no. swords up, so I'm gonna uppercut. Well done. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend now, off this is huge. my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Alright. So this lesson right here is the number one thing you gotta do before you before you go out right, it's we'll absolutely crucial now you the trick is to stay in your stance as soon as i start to attack you block the move knocks the blade aside all right Ow. no not like that well. you mustn't hold a sword there you have to move along with the attack again So that green shield in the middle right. that just appeared is that's what I'm looking for. So when that little green shield appeals appears in the middle of that uh, five pointed star, you'll actually deflect Good. and often uh, push their sword in a different direction. As you level up, you'll get better and better at it and better skills that will help All you fight right. with that. And that is crucial. Without that little addition to the game, you're screwed. You will die in every combat well, thing, uh, in every uh, combat I'll interaction. Try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. And it doesn't, of course, it's not foolproof. It doesn't, it doesn't limit all the damage you take, but it's absolutely crucial. Ow! All right. And there are kind of ways that it, it kind of helps you to. I don't want to say cheese it too much, but it it, it really puts you in a position to right. better get out of situations or get lucky hits in, like. If I keep doing a perfect block, perfect block, and then well if somebody's done. charging me, I kind of poke them in the face with my sword. Uh, you know, I've taken out big armies or big squads doing that because it's it's kind of unexpected. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. He's so right. You got to train. Oof. Like he comes in quick. See, look at that. Ha! Oh, got me. Got me that time. Ow. See, but look at that. Now we're doing it. Wait a while, Henry. Oh. All right, so this, of course, Hans Capon. Hey, greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? 
I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Hmm. Not a little sarcastic, huh? A hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Carry on. Capon. All right, back to it, Bernard. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside. Simple. Attack, and I'll show you. Straightforward as you jog. Nice little moves. Nice little move. Slippy. He's good. All right, try it. He's real good. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. So it's All interesting. Right. You only move. You only move your ear. So much like hitting the well perfect done. block button, you just got to move. You don't actually hit both buttons. You just evade. Not Fine. Just I'll move a direction. A quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Bad. Come on now, buddy. Oh, oh, you oh. got me that time. All right. Hey, that last one I was. <laughs> and the last. He cheated on that last today, one. <laughs> a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment. And the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Ugh. Very good! Ugh. Wrong! No! Not yeah. like that! Alright, so basically what he's oh, telling me to do again. is to kind of charge up the attack one way. Ugh. I got him to raise his sword. So I put it up here, he raised the sword, Ugh. and then I changed direction. Not bad. Now... Again, I trust me. As somebody who's really struggled with with the ins and outs of this game, you're you're learning a lot, and the the curve to learn it is is pretty oh steep. And so I think you know that's the whole point of today is we're going to get more comfortable with the battle mechanics and with all that, and we're going to survive a few fights Maybe because we'll getting past that and the lock picking and the pick the the, the, the more it, detailed elements of the game. You might have talent. Talent alone won't do. The archery. You know, we're going to learn how to do these things Whatever really well. nothing better to do, and you're in the mood for it. You can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Ready when you are, buddy. Uh, so this is another one of those events that I might practice a little bit. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to do some training off, off camera as well. Um, because somehow we're already halfway through the night. That is absolutely crazy. Time really flies when you're having fun. But that's also the thing with this game to keep in mind is it's not about getting every quest done in the timeliest fashion. It there is a level of role playing in a different kind of with a different kind of definition in this game. Like it's really satisfying to be Henry, to be in this world. Just take your time, you know. Go, go hunting and try to try your hand at, at bringing home as many rabbits as you can, deer, and bringing down bigger game and selling it for a nice profit. And getting better at archery contests. That's one thing I actually I do a lot is I'll unlock archery contests and just start crushing people, making a lot of money. Uh, potentially losing some, of course, because the higher up, of course, you go in an archery contest, it's gonna get harder. And it's not a guaranteed win. You gotta make sure you're crushing it, but it's a good way to make some dough. What am I to do? The poor wretch whose home was burnt to ashes by Sigismund's hordes. So this guy is actually from Scarlet's as well. We're gonna talk to him a little later, but we're gonna want to remember Baron. Ah, Sir Hans. Great. Hmm. Let's see that. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there. And we can All right. start. And another thing. 
Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Fair enough. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like Boom, a piece bullseye. of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you train so there, it, there really is a rhythm, a one, and, and when you're doing so contests, you won't see them. Don't forget the there's a pattern that you can follow. You Once you find... Anymore. Once you find the right spot, which you want to do ideally in the first shot or two, I'm a little high. Uh, you can really feel it out and find that rhythm. And really, it's like one, two, like three, it. release. One, two, three, release. You're wasting your time, and there's this guy. Nothing will come of him anyway. And at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. Yeah. Roger, who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Ooh, Henry. Uh, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Yes. Well? Any time. Ooh, yeah. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. <laughs> Good. I've got well, like 12 cents to, to my name. All right, wish me luck. Ooh, new music for the. Oh, bullseye right off the bat. All right, a little off. I was a little late on the release. All right, so we're we're gonna crush him. So I found the rhythm right away. All right, a little off on that one. But yeah, he's got four arrows, so he literally can't even beat us if he got perfect score from here on out. Nice. All right, so no matter what, we just won. We beat Sir Hans Capon in his own game. We're going to get his bow. If you haven't already, let's get a like on the video for winning our first competition in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Crush ya, Hans. Double your score, and then some. Well, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish is already... What do you think, friends? You do we, uh... Subjects? He explicitly told Do we go? Do we? Do we I let the prince win? What he told you. You can just tell him. I didn't listen to you. I'll leave it up so to you, chat. what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. All right. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember everything you trained for. Got the moves, got the moves. Nice little level up. All about managing that stamina. That is your most important thing. And a little poke, a little poke, and a little stick. Nope, all right. Oh, he got me pretty good on that one. Now, what's great is you're not the only person that has a stamina bar, essentially. 
your opponents will also tire. And so if you're working them down and you see them start to stagger, much like your own character. Oh, do you grab? Oh, crap. All right. All right. Go ahead and gather your strength. You'll need it. I am doing that. Thank you. Oh. Oh, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here. Right, I'm gonna jump out of. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. I'm right, getting a little tired. Your end is done. Come on. All right, so Hans is pretty good with the with the blocking. Come on. Alright, I gotta get a little, little breather here. Now we're pretty evenly matched right now, but that's about to change. But so, if you can see that five-pointed star in the middle, very important to remember what, what our trainer was telling us. And to make sure you're changing direction. You can attach, attack each zone based on how they're defending. So, So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to faint low and then go high. But it's, t it's tough. Oof. Come on. Getting good at the clinch is also really, really helpful. When you're getting close, you automatically clinch up with people. Oh, damn. Well, I didn't see anyone in, in chat saying that I should let him win, so I'm going to try to finish him off here pretty quick. All right, nice. So we actually ju we just got another level on our agility, will, which will allow us to now use the sword we have equipped uh, much more efficiently. Ow. Come on. But you can see how the definitely how the combat is a little trickier to to get comfortable with. But once you do, and you really find that balance and, and the effect of the effectiveness of certain weapons, there we go. All right, it's all about working your way towards that one opening, and then you can really finish him off. Must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. <laughs> we'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Nailed it. Royalty bow. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. Shouldn't challenge me. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the Rat House. The bailiff's the Rat House. All right, Captain. Which is not as disgusting as it sounds. All right. Well, thank you, Captain Bernard. I appreciate your time. Now, you want to come back to him as often as you want uh, during the times that he's here and train, train, train. In fact, I uh, know we'll, we'll, we'll follow the rest of the story for now. All right. Quick little wash up. Beautiful. All right. Well, I can't believe it. Well, I, I can believe it, but we won both competitions. So we received this awesome bow, which is a little above our level right now. So we need to level up our strength one more and our agility two more before that really becomes effective. Whereas the villager ash bow, we can use that no problem. So we're gonna keep using that uh, just so we're nice and comfortable. But this now, our shard sword, although it is a short sword, uh, we can use with our new level three agility. We did level up a couple of the things as well in both our combat and in our regular stats, our main level and our strength. So for the strength, We've got these two new options. We can either be a clinch master. It gives us 40% higher chance of overpowering your opponent. So when we locked up like that, you saw that he was able to, to, to beat me to the, to the punch, so to speak. 
That one's great. I love getting good in the clinch because it can really buy you time in combat, but also allow you an opportunity to open up your opponent for attack. But below that, there's the mule. It allows us to carry 15 pounds more, and that's awesome. And you can level it up, I think, three, maybe four times. And you got to do it. You have to do it right away. But yeah, so I'm going to do that first because I think we're going to you're going to focus more on getting stuff to sell to Uncle Peshek in the early game. And then as you're getting more and more combat more frequently, of course, you're going to want to get better in the clinch. All right, so that's done. Uh, our other one was just a main level. Awesome. Love that. So we've got scout. We've got first aid level one. So now we can do Renegade Brand, which is good for if you go to jail a lot. We're going to try to avoid that. Uh, Wanderer, Knight Rider, Manly Order, or Asset, uh, Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Um, I think... Increase the time you can do without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. So I think let's go ahead and do it for the food. Um, none of these early ones are really that great yet. We're about to unlock some, some cooler stuff in the later levels, but uh, but none of these are that amazing. It's basically, do you want to slow down your hunger or your uh, exhaustion rate? And I think hunger is the best bet. So we'll learn that. Learn, learn. Beautiful. Go back to combat. Sword, because we unlocked a lot of stuff in that in that fight. Uh, this is, of course, just different little uh, things you can do with weapons of their specific kind. Uh, and this basically unlocks combos. So like the Wrath Strike with a long sword, Left, bottom, right middle stab i like that one but i'm currently using a short sword so the blunt strike is the one i'm going to use and that is going to be stab left bottom left um and it's they're hard to pull off when you can pull off these little combos in it, 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 boom boom and then up cool it's a lot of fun it does a great job does some really nice damage This right here, very exciting. This is the turn. Oh, I should probably put my sword away. Uh, this is where the tournament is held. This is a DLC for the game. That's a lot of fun, and it is challenging. Um, yeah, you, this is the reigning champion, Black Peter. He's a dick. Uh, but yeah, you can come here and you can actually talk to this fella, the Herald, and you can uh, place a bet and try to win the tournament. You can do that, I think six times and there's a uh there's a really great prize for those six rounds and then after that you just get money 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 oh absolutely milan yes you are absolutely right. gotta love hashtag henry he is the best i love henry fish eye and all what a great guy but yeah time is flying holy crap But hopefully you're all doing well out there, friends and real ones. Thank you once again for joining me, for stopping on in. It's always such a treat to hang out with you. I hope you're all enjoying this exploration of Kingdom Come. Uh, you know, we're still in that early game, and there's a, there's so much yet to see. And uh, I'm hoping that we're all, all wanting to, to continue this journey with Henry for a little while longer. All right, now this is the Rat House, which is basically, the, like I said earlier, the town center, the, uh, the city hall, I should say. This is our local bailiff. God be with you. Uh, we'll join the service. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Redzig appointed. Yes, yes, I am. Very well. Sir Redzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. Nice. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Uh, then you should look after us better. I'm trying to keep people in my good side right now, so I think I'll probably just say you can rely on me. Count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. <laughs> Make it John Hall. Filthy peasants. I mean, they are filthy. Yes, you got. You, you are absolutely right. But we gotta look out for them, John Hall. We gotta help them, right? Uh, but John DeCano, by the way, uh, it's a game like none other, and so many different ways the game can go in almost any mission. I love this game. Yeah, well said. That is. Uh, uh, he's, he challenged me. 
No. I Sir Hans challenged me. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. But how are you doing, John? Oh, welcome in, buddy. Good Sir to see you. And Milan, welcome in as well. Great to have you in here. Fellas, hopefully you're having a great, be careful, beautiful, Noblemen are chilly to anger, Thursday night. And you don't need that kind of trouble. That's true. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Ooh. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Yaroslav, they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. All right, rock and roll. So... We have been given a little job, a little bit of spending cash, nothing much, but a little bit of stuff. Uh, someone say chili. Oh no. <laughs> I can only imagine what's in store for us now. Um, okay, so I'm gonna tell you now, by the way, little uh, little sneak peek behind the curtain. First of all, we've done a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and save now. Uh, because we've done a lot, and I don't want to miss any of that. Now, I'm going to crouch. I'm going to go in here. This, in my opinion, is a great place to up our lockpicking and thievery game. This place is packed full of good armor. It's packed full of good clothes, books, and just lots of good stuff for an aspiring thief like ourselves. Uh, and also hides. I love stealing this stuff because I don't want any of it, so I don't mind selling any of it. Wow, it's already letting me do a hard lockpick. That's awesome. There it was. Boom. All right. Nice. Look at all this. I got some... Yeah, look at this. I'm going to make some bank. This is absolutely crucial, once again, to, to get us some more dough to get us into a good spot for, for what's coming in the future. Okay, cool. So very hard is going to be too hard right now. You want to really keep your eyes, I'm sorry, your ears open for people walking or doors opening as well, because even if you're just looking into a chest that isn't yours, people will be really mad at you. Call the guard, or you can try to talk them out of it, but it's really difficult to do so. And even the sound, the sounds I'm making right now are far too loud for my liking, and it could draw the attention of the bailiff, who again is kind of like He's, he's the head honcho when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the, the police force. So you know what? I'm actually going to be smart. And while I've got a little bit, so I can't sprint while I'm overloaded. And I'm carrying a lot of stuff, which will draw the attention of the guard as well. So let's see. So I can't go that way. So I'm going to go back down the stairs. I'm going to try to avoid pretty much everyone and get out of town and go see Peshik. It's going to be really, really hard to not be stopped by somebody. Because as I go through the through the town, the guards are going to say, Hey, you look familiar. Come here a second. Don't stop and talk. Just get home. Run. Um, and I'm trying to remember. There's a back way out of town along the western edge of, of this place. And I can't remember where. Oh, man. But so, as you can see, even with that mule perk, gear weighs you down quick. But you know what? I am going to try to get out of the side bit of town, because I want to figure out where it is. And we're kind of... We're kind of in a good spot for it, because to get there, you want to go along this wall. Ah, crap. Oh, funny. So that's... So that's the guy we actually need to meet for the next mission. Oh, crap. Don't come talk to me. Yeah, what sucks is I can't, I can't run away from anyone right now. I just have to slowly shuffle away from anyone. And uh, people will call the guards on you if you try to sell them stolen gear as well. So you don't want to just rush out to merchants and start trying to hawk your newfound, newfound goods. You will get in a lot of trouble. Uh oh, shoot, 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 shoot. All right. That was good. That was good. Okay, so he didn't notice us too much. Feeling good. <laughs> Chili, why were you... Uh, ah, crap. Ah, crap. It's like when you're speeding down the highway. Okay. Okay, so interesting. So they're actually not re reacting at all. So I probably could have just walked the normal way home. But better safe than sorry. And what we're going to do is we're also going to learn where the hell the, uh, the, the exit is. I think it's... I think we're getting close? Question mark? 
Ooh, there we go. Yes, we are getting very close. So I think it's... So right before the Huntsman. Okay, cool. Oh, crap. He's gonna, he's definitely gonna stop me. I guess not. Okay, cool. So, maybe because I'm not wearing any of the stuff, but I'm also wearing, st I'm wearing stolen gear. Hm. I don't know. But first of all, what a view. Uh oh, uh, be very careful because the fall damage in this is no joke and it'll happen real easily. Like you, something about gravity in the 16th century was way heavier than gravity today. I swear it's the truth. Uh, so, uh, Mega John Hall, if you're still here, I know you were also a fan of Kingdom Come Deliverance, and I was asking earlier, uh, what kind of Henry did you make? Chili Santa let us know that a, uh, what was it, a, a forest-dwelling hobgoblin? Was that the, uh, was that the term you used? But, uh, basically a smelly, <laughs> a smelly charismatic archer that gave everyone a bunch of money, uh, whenever he interacted with them. That was Chili Santa's. All right. Oh. oh. All right, we're almost there. Almost to Peshek. I just hope I don't... Oh, nice! Yeah, over the hedge. All right, I can't believe I made that. Henry has glass bones and paper skin. Every morning he breaks his legs. Every night he breaks his arms. That's so true. That is that is Henry in a nutshell. Okay, so before I before I sell to Peshek, every single time I like to make sure I go through my recently acquired goods and see what's new, and that I might want to keep. Like, look at this. Although it's not my favorite item by any means, it's worth six hundred gold. It gives me an armor defense of ten. That's awesome. Uh, all my other stuff is broken from training. That's funny. Uh, my blue hose, still looking good. Hunting boots, yes, please. I'll take that any day. Uh, the Lords of Lipa. Okay, so that's underneath. I've also got some new pauldrons. That's huge. Uh, just to give you an idea of how it kind of looks here. We'll get rid of the... Get rid of the purpont. Uh, we got the old pauldrons there. What, what did I just take up? What happened to my shirt? Ah, I see. Um, we got a noble's hood, not too shabs, but as you can see, I mean, we, we found all this stuff in five seconds of, of stealing from that, uh, from that room upstairs, and there's still a lot more to get, and you can, you can see how much that'll benefit us right off the bat, so I mean, I'm probably just gonna sell all this stuff, so then, uh, so then, yeah, nobody has any reason to hunt me. God be with you. Uh, da -da 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 sell it. Of course. All right. God be with you. God be with you. The controls in the selling is a little different than I'm expecting. Oops. Nope. 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 Don't sell here. No. 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 The controls in in this are a little weird with with the. Uh, I've got some goods here whose owners Whatever. might... Whatever, I'm going to stop control All right. complaining about it. Okay, so I want my scarf back. I'm going to add that. Move over to sell. There we go. Let's just do everything. Everything that's stolen, essentially, I'm just going to get rid of right away. Oh, I do... Yeah, I, I don't like the style of that one. Uh, burger slippers. Basconet. Whole bunch of dandelions. Uh, Sin Gammon, I'm just gonna get that fixed. Dog skin, gross. 
everyday dress, blue hose, horse hide, definitely sell that. Uh, Kinesha's hammer, because, okay, so I was holding onto the hammer and the, and the axe, because I was like, that'd be really cool if you could interact with Kunesh and he asks for his stuff back, or if you could give it back to him, but it wasn't the case, so screw that guy. Now, you can see in the, well, maybe you can see it, in the trader's wealth, uh, Pashik only has 408 groschen, so I need to keep my total of what I'm selling him under that, which is phenomenal to have that as an option because now I can go back to to the buying side and I can buy a bunch of lock picks or at least 10 nice yeah 10 and you know what I'm just gonna get all 20 because well, let's see how much that costs actually oh that's 300 more hmm, I don't think so um, but I will take the rule of Saint Nicholas and I will take this treasure map as well yeah I'll just take it then I'm going to go into the basket. I'm going to get rid of half of these lockpicks. Okay, I think I have a few more things to get rid of. Poppies, I'm going to hold on to. Uh, the red hood, I'm going to get rid of the red hood. Get rid of the red scarf. Get rid of this. I'll keep the sage because that's making me smell nice. Get rid of the brigandine. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. All right, cool. So that feels pretty good. I get 250 bucks, and I get a bunch of lockpicks. I get a couple of things. What else am I getting? Getting, a, getting my scarf back, getting a book and a treasure map. Uh, nice, nice, nice. I could, of course, just steal those things. Um, but, you know, whatever. We're going to haggle first. Let's have a Her word use. about price. Naturally. <laughs> so, if stealing is against the law, why sell an item called a lockpick? Well, because this gentleman, Mr. Peshik, is one of the seedy Wicked. underlings in this world. He is he's a thief. He's a miller. The millers are known for their their theft and for their uh, pick, their sticky fingers. There we go. Boom. Now, later in the game, I can tell you that this door holds a chest. And in that chest is all of the goods that you sell to Peshek for a while. Ultimately, those goods will be turned into Groshen. So a little tip for you end game players or mid game players or anybody that can unlock very hard locks. After you sell them a bunch of stuff, you can sell them that stuff, get the gold for it. All of the items you sold to Peshek hey, will go into, the, into a chest Don't in this room. Wager on the rat and then you can go into that room, let all those items turn into gold and steal that gold, or just steal the items right back as well. It's awesome. Who makes these picks? That's a good question. All right, but now I think we're so we're dirty again. We need to repair our gear. Uh, we're gonna put this scarf back on, broken as it is, uh, because now that we're a little more, we got plenty of dough right now. We're doing well. I want to make sure that we have our buff from. Okay, so we don't, so we do actually still need some... I'm just going to get more sage. Gotta smell nice. Now, let's let's keep track. Let's see how this goes. So, no buff yet. So, I'm not sure of the exact number. I don't know exactly how much we need to get the buff, but I know it's not as many as you would think. Hey, lady. No, I'm just hungry now. So not quite. Uh, oh, here we go. This will probably do it. There we go. Okay, so in my inventory, I've got... Oh, I didn't realize I had all that poppy. The 12 sage. 12 seems to be the number then. Oh, and actually, let me show you real quick. Um, so I bought those... Uh, I bought these tailor kits. Now, I don't know if my skill will be high enough, but what you can do is you can go to the uh, to the to the tailor's kits and you can apply it. That'll open up a menu showing you all the things that you can repair. I'm going to repair my coif. Uh, that's all I can do right now. But you'll as you can see up there, I leveled up my maintenance already, and that's super helpful. It'll save you a lot of money. And also it's uh, it just you get some really, really awesome perks if you uh, if you use that 
if you if you repair your own, your own gear. Come on. Got a whole spice cabinet in his pocket. Oh, and that's just bursting out of the chili. Okay, so super important. What are you here for? So I'm of course going to use the bathhouse services. In... Uh huh. And what... Which we could of course do something like pay for a wench and everything. It goes for that. But Henry's better than that. That's not his. That's not. He's got his eyes on Teresa. Okay. But this simple, simple look of Henry's, that's not going to be it. Uh, so I think, which one do I like? I think Bohemian Duke. Is that the one I like? Nope. No, no deal. No deal. Uh, Troubadour, I think is a goatee, which is not my favorite. What has been surprised a big old beard? What's casual elegance? That's the one I have. I'd rather not. No. So maybe it's dignitary. I think dignitary is what I want. Yep. I'd like that. Thank you. Now, anytime you, you either wish? get a piece of hair point? plastered on your face or a haircut or anything like that, um, I'm not giving you that much. You'll get a uh, a little symbol that you gives you like a fresh pay? cut boost as well. So with the flower power, I'll give you a little tip. You won't regret spending the money. God bless. Um. It gives you another boost to your charisma as well. People like you more. It's just really smart. You can see in the bottom right next to, I'm sorry, uh, next to the right of the uh, health bar, there's my hunger symbol, which I'm going to fix that right now by getting all these services taken care of. I'd like to make you... And what is it? Uh, heal my wounds, bath and laundry. Uh, but of course. And I'll just, I'll just pay this time. Fine. I'm sure you're... Goodbye. Nice. Couple hours. No problem. Beautiful. All right, I'm freshly shorn. Oh, actually, I'm also going to change my hair, though, while I'm here, because I got the money. We're treating ourselves. I'd like to make... And what is it? All right, I need to get a haircut. Let's go with... Uh, let's do... I think I like the Polish undercut. Yeah. I'd like that. That can be arranged? Fine. I'm sure... God bless. All right, nice. Nice. John Hall was a. F My first was full on knight. The second was basically a ranger. The third I attempted was more merchant than anything. I like that. See, and that does sound like the uh, the progression of the game, where it's like you start off, you're full bore, full armor, swords, frontline fighter, heroic and honorable, and then you kind of learn. The, the archery is pretty badass. How to hunt, how to survive in the woods, the perks that you get from spending time in the woods. Uh, and then the third one, yeah, learning how the economy kind of works and how you can really go through the game with just your speech. You are not locked into having to be this this amazing fighter. It certainly helps, and like I think there are part of the games that you kind of need to be. But approaching it more diplomatically is is very exciting they do a great job of making it feel just as satisfying as as not why are you so far out from the post there buddy all right now i'm trying to get this off my map there we go what's this pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory or join nightingale on patrol so we've got till the morning uh we should probably have just slept actually is what i'm thinking we could have just Rested. I avoid lockpicking at all costs. Really? And why is... Th oh, <laughs> because you don't like it, I'm sure. Uh, on that note, let's go ahead and steal some stuff. So if I remember right, we said right here, I think... Or right here, I think that's the exit to go down where we just were. Nice. And then tomorrow, 11 a.m., we're going to go on patrol with Nightingale. We're going to go through that bit of the mission. Oh, hello, Sir Hans. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go steal some stuff. And you really want to think about all the details. So what are you wearing? What time of day is it? How light is it in the room you're in? What are light sources around you? Where are the people? You know, so like right now, no one's around. No one's walking by. I'm obscured by the roof. Good time to pick a lock. Find where you're 
Find where the sweet spot is. There we go. Boom. Easy peasy. Not dead. Now, personally, I always close the door because it will buy you just enough time sometimes. Sometimes. Hell yeah. I can't believe I'm already being allowed to do hard locks. That is awesome. Come on. Where are you? Oh. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Oof. Oh, it was right there. Now, the one thing I can't stand is, is the movement in the background behind... Oof, nice. All right, now that was a lot of noise. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's coming upstairs to, to check out what all that was. All right. Just kind of keep working my way through. Now there's probably people sleeping in this room. Yeah. Now, if I were to pick a lock in here... This guy would definitely hear. And he's the blacksmith himself. Now, oh, I think he's actually, yep, he's waking up anyway. And that's just from the ambient noise of me walking around, you know? So, I mean, if you try to pick a lock and you're over there just jamming your thing, your tools apart. Oh, crap. See, now I'm like, now I'm trapped in this house. And that's not a good thing. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. Hi, you. It's forbidden to walk at night here without a light. Ah, yes. And you will actually get in trouble. So, if you're walking around and you don't have a torch out, in town, guards will actually stop you and, and harass you. So definitely do that. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to the rat house. We're going to finish. Ah, uh, you know what? Ah, uh, you know. There's the baker. There's Cornelius. If we see the bailiff, then I think we should go and... Hey, Milan! It's Milan. <laughs> yeah, the effort it took on consoles wasn't worth it, lockpicking. Uh, I'd do it if I had to, but save your snaps and reloading was easier. Yeah, I'm tr I am was I was talking uh, before the stream started. I was I was like, I feel like I should add a hook to this or some level of added difficulty because I, I want to try not to scum save too much in this playthrough. And I really want to see if I can just live with the consequences of my actions, ideally not getting caught doing anything illegal uh, or at least being able to outrun the bounty. Um, oh, for future reference, by the way, this is where we're going to come to do a lot of free crafting, which is great for alchemy. A uh, really great spot to come on in, and um, typically you have to, like, ask somebody or a, an alchemist or anything like that to use their stuff. This one, you can use for free. We'll do that more later on. Well, no one's around, though. Hey, who's Shit. There? Okay, so he heard me doing that. Uh, this is a very difficult building to get into. So there's a guard that usually sits right on the other side. Right there. Oh. Right, so I'm kind of curious. I'm testing it out right now. I want to see if he's going to hear me uh, from the main room there. And then come, come check in on his merchandise. Very hard, very hard. Okay, so usually when they're very hard in a, in a chest that looks like that, that's the inventory of a store. So pretty good stuff. Oop. Uh oh. Let's go ahead and close that. So that's the alchemist, or, or I'm sorry, the uh, the apothecary. Anyway, just to show you how this works, let's go ahead and do a little fast travel. Let's treat ourselves. Let's treat ourselves. No, just give me the. There we go. All right. Quick little zip down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, you can still be stopped by the guards. Come on. There we go. Whew. I was getting nervous. Tracy, go to bed. All right, Peshek. Ooh, actually, he might, be, he might be out of money. I've got some good... All right. See you later. 
Yeah, he's only got 50 bucks to spare. Damn. Well, that's okay. He usually, uh, he usually restocks pretty quick. I think it's like two or three days, maybe, and he's back to it. If you're carrying around things that you want to sell in the future, and these maps, too, I'm going to move all those. Uh, I'm just going to move this for now. Because I will sell it to, uh, I will sell it to Peshik, but I don't want to carry around anything extra. And the Plimpro. Every penny counts. Okay, cool. Now, first things first, before I save, I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to read real quick. Oh, wait, no, I can't read yet. Never mind. But check this out. I love this. So, Henry can't read. He's an illiterate blacksmith's son. So if you look at these words right now, he has no idea what it means. He, he can't read any of it. It's all just jumbled. And as you, if you were to not be trained in... Actually, I'm sorry. Let me start over. If you were to train to, to start learning how to read, it doesn't become perfect right away. It slowly un unscrambles, and the higher your reading skill gets, the more clear books become. It's a tiny little detail, and what's really fun is when you look at this right now, and if I were to... I took a screenshot right now of that now, and when we learn to read, I'm going to show you the difference and how it's not exactly perfect, but it's it's a really great detail of, of how he's learning. <laughs> nice. Aunt Jim, one of our phenomenal real ones around here, was uh, was telling Miss Marin about that very thing today. Oh, actually, and always read your treasure maps as well, because they count as reading. And this is actually, ooh, this is a great one to have. So maybe we'll go explore for this tomorrow morning. Until then, sleep. All right. Now we're going to knock out till 11. Uh, that'll give us plenty of time to sleep, but also that's going to get us right to the mission for Nightingale. We're going to go do a little, do a little, uh, do a little guard work. Nice. So you'll get the mission update every single time. Oh. You'll get the mission update every single time that there's a tournament in uh, Rate. Ugh. God, that's the worst sound ever. Um, oh, no! And I ate too much! I wasn't thinking. Okay, so this is a good example. Uh, so check this out. So I just got the debuff of overeating. Because I stuffed myself to 104 nourishment. And what that does is you stuffed yourself. And since you have... Uh, since you set out to live a more aesthetic, aesthetic life, the efforts... God damn, the effects of overeating are harder for your body to deal with. So, a lot of things are... Little piggy potato. I am a little piggy potato. I can't hide it. That's my... Okay, so I'm carrying... I got plenty of room. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So I'm going to grab this spade because I can't remember what I did with the other one. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast travel right up to here. It's so nice, the difference between PC and console. On console, that small little loading screen of the of the fast travel would have taken forever. I feel like that right now, but the food is really good. That's the thing, is if, if it tastes good, I'm a little piggy potato, man. I can't help myself. All right, I'm trying to run, run off this extra weight. Oh, I gotta, oh shoot, I gotta talk to the, um... Well, first, I'm gonna go get my gear repaired. I'm not a slob, after all. But I gotta go here, and then I'm gonna go over to the, uh... To the armory, and I gotta get equipped for... God be with you. Yeah, 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 you too. Select all. And just because we're like doing stolen stuff, mm. why not I give you a little a little extra here? I'll give you 72 gold for that. Oof. Yeah, whatever. It's worth the uh it's worth that. Here. Well now. Alright. So we got our, our gear repaired. Let's go ahead and head over to the armory because we've got to get equipped for guard duty.
I think that when I was first playing this game, this was the one thing that I missed every single time. I just, I, for some reason, I could never figure out where the hell the armory was, even though there was a map marker. I don't know why. I, I really struggled with that the first few times. <laughs> I kept getting so turned around. It feels really good to know this city very well now and, and kind of where you're going, what to look for. But yeah, I, <laughs> I would start this mission every time. They're like, what the hell are you doing here? Like, you don't have any armor on. Here we go. Oi. I was told to pick up a kit here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. Oh. You already look as good as any vassal. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to... That's all? You want to kiss and... I mean equipment. It's quite enough for... So, this, this is pretty hilarious, actually. Uh, I was already technically geared up enough to, uh, to do guard duty. I am going to put up on on the because uh, i had the van braces and i've got my light armor as well and some hunting boots so this overall for a town guard isn't a terrible setup but let's toss on a bassinet and a little uh let's go throw that padded quaff on there there we go for a little extra and the mail, mail collar we'll take off the blue scarf yeah not too bad pretty decent all right y'all talking about homemade egg wrappers teriyaki beef flour tortillas come on now Come on now. Although time is absolutely flying by. Uh, I mean, that's crazy. How are we? We're already in here for two hours and 20 minutes, and I haven't, I feel like I haven't done anything. Which again, the blessing and the curse of this game is there's so much to chew on. There's a lot of great stuff. And because it is more realistic and because you're, you know, kind of takes a while to do stuff. That does that does show its its itself uh, in moments like this. Must be noon. Yep. All right, Nightingale. What's up, buddy? Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yeah. Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the Seriously, girl. hit the snooze, yeah. yeah. It's noon. We men. get it. We get Tell it. Me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I want to be useful. I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. Cool. I'm ready. Don't forget. Forget what? What was that last bit? This is our church, St. Matthew's. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I can actually hit caps lock and slow down to a walk. That's really cool. Nice. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the <laughs> of the lords of Lipa, our masters. All right, so this right here is going to be a lot of sort of exposition. Uh, we're going to walk around with Nightingale. He's going to tell us about the town. He's going to tell us about the history. And I can shut up and let him do that, but... Um, are there cats in this game, Rogue Rog? Big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. No. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper. No, I don't think so. I don't think I've found any cats in this game. Actually, that's 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 funny. Yeah, I don't think so either. If we find a cat. Game of the year. <laughs> we must drop everything to worship them. You think I'm not gonna? Come on. Come on. I'm from Skelitz. What you know? What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. All right. Your people. All right. I don't want you here. Is that? I'm gonna need your help, chat. I'm gonna need your opinion. What are you screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. 
This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. Wow. I want you to get rid of her. How is she bothering you? What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Uh. So. What do we think? The armor smith is at, or I'm sorry, the swordsmith is basically just saying, this is my my place and I don't want beggars in front of it. There's a whole town square she should, she should go, go sit in. But let's see. Do you have the right Why to be here? sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Uh, you call yourself a Christian. Can't you show her some Christian charity, Armour? What? She's clearly a witch. <laughs> Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms? Even to this witch what? only yesterday. Wow, Megatron Hall called it. Might be. Might not. Hot him. Hit him arms, with the praise, Jesus. <laughs> yes. Okay, so she's already been begging. I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday. And my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Well. So. I'm not going to give a groschen because I'm on guard duty and I don't think that's appropriate. She did get alms from the swordsmith yesterday, or armorer, yesterday. And just because she's hungry today, she's expecting more. His hat is, his hat is suspicious. Uh, just, you know what? I think you ought to give Jane something. I gave her a groschen yesterday and a today groschen. she's ruining my business. Have you taken leave? Well, you wouldn't want to look like a heartless bastard in front of the whole town, would you? <laughs> no. There you go, then. Just a coin or two and you'll have an even better name. Oh, for God's sake. Exactly. Here you are. And don't come back. Thank you. See now? It didn't hurt too much. All right. Nice simple speech. hate you now. That I can tell you. But you acted like a good Christian. Now, if anybody's coming in late and watching this and being like, what's up with all this Christian talk? Remember, it's the 16th century in Bohemia. It's certainly uh, a central point of, of everyday life. And, uh, yeah, this isn't like a religious game per se, but it's impossible to be a simulation of this uh, without a lot of that. So. Some fools are even the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. It is interesting hearing Nightingale tell this whole story because the first few times I played it, I was so lost. There was too many names. Too many, it was like watching Game of Thrones with having no context for it. You know what I mean? It's just like, how am I supposed to absorb all of these different things? But now as I'm playing and... And once you've learned the history and kind of know what's going on, it's really entertaining to see how it's portrayed through different characters of different status and just throughout the world itself and, and people's viewpoints on this war. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. I'm just obsessed with this sort of thing, though. This is just so what I want my villages and all my in all my games to play, you know? Like anytime we build a village in Valheim, this is pretty much what I'm pulling from. Or especially this angle of this whole town. Love it. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Bruder. Bruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Now that, I've been trying to figure out what he just brought up, about Wolfram Pruda leaving his daughter upstairs all day. And I'm wondering if there's a way to, to get... Oh, wait. I don't know. I wonder if there's a way to interact with her. 
Uh oh. Time to lay down the law, Nightingale. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. All right, so we just got a couple more tasks, and then we could go get drunk. Oh, nice. Yeah, Chili asking, anyone watching any movies? I've watched the entire Rocky series over the last few nights. That's a good way to get, you, get yourself pumped up. Gotta love the Rocky series. Let's see, what, what's, what have I watched recently? What have I watched at all? Let's see. I always struggle with movies because I... So I'm usually playing something and watching something, and so I I like to just stuff my brain with useless and stupid videos. Oh. Uh, let's see, what was the last one I watched? Hmm. Always wanted to be a boxer, eh? Interesting. The blacksmith has some trouble, and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice, too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Yeah, Once. I sure could. What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Oof, Nightingale. Oh, that's, what is oof. it, lad? That's touchy. My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's all good. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. All right. Now, it's not a difficult mission by any means, but it's certainly one you gotta... just kinda gotta get through. Takes a little bit of time. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around... Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. And that right there, that whole this little paragraph, I think is great. Cause it's, a young lad. it's basically Hanush saying Sandal player like, yeah, I know, it's a armory. lot, it's a lot. So, Chili, what stopped you from becoming a boxer? And do you currently train anywhere? Just for fun. Alright, we're... Almost, almost done with this, uh, with this quest. We got a little bit more to do. Oh, actually, no, there's a fair bit. A little dressing down. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir anyway? Isn't he Moimir. supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's no. better if I deal with it, and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. All right. Whew. 
Let's do this. Come on. Oh, now we're now we're running. I like it. Play the SmackDown Nightingale. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed <laughs> to be on the gate? <sighs> Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Oh, that's great. Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Oh, I'd love to see that. All right. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. I love that. Yells at, yells at the guy for having a drink. I mean, this is not have a drink. That fool got me all worked up. Shouldn't we be on patrol? Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry. Even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. Fair enough. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Now, I love this game that we're about to be tutorialized on. I love Why not? Sparkle. So basically with this, uh, it's kind of kind of like a twist on Yahtzee in a sense. So you start with six die in a in a cup. Uh, you want to collect. So one, so a, a single one pip on the die is worth 100. So if I roll a one, that's 100 points. If I roll a five, that's 50 points. If you roll sets of three or runs like this. Oh my God, like, look at this. Holy crap. So two, three, four, five, and six. Now that scores me 750 points. I could roll again, but I would only roll the one die that's remaining. Or I can score and pass, which is what I'm going to do. So I bank the 750. You're going to roll two pairs. Thank you, Nick Lobash. I appreciate you, buddy. And thank you for stopping in as well. Good to see you here. Oh my God. And then he just, okay, so he just rolled a fat 700, but I'm still in the lead by a little bit. Uh, let's see if Nick is right. So I got two pair. Hopefully, if the pairs are anything, it'll be the ones. But so here's a good example. So I can hold the 100 die, and I'll be able to re-roll all five of those. So score and roll again. So it's a temporary point until you lock it in at the end. All right. Two, three. Okay, so this is kind of crappy. I'm only scoring on the five. So I'm going to roll again with those four. Now, just got done working out. Of course you did. You're a machine. How was the workout today? Now, here's a strategic option. I could take both of the die for the hundred or for the, for the ones and take the hundred, right? Instead, I'm going to get risky. I'm going to save one and I'm going to reroll the other three in the hopes I went bust. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Grog Nation salute. Wonderful. Great to see you back, brother. Gains for the real ones. Love it. Uh, just never got the chance to pursue that dream of folks. Also, didn't want me to make a living getting punched in the face. Totally fair. Basic training at YMCA. I know the rock, paper, scissors, and boxing. Guys. There you go. That's all you need. All right, so awesome. Nightingale also went bust. We got super lucky. And I immediately bust out. Oh, man. Okay, so we're playing to 2,000. One, two. Okay, cool. So, oh, no. So he just got, okay, so he got a That'll set of four. Me. Which, depending on which one you, uh, one, two, three. Dang. All right, so I'm one off. So I'm going to hold on to one of the five, or one of the hundreds, and roll again. One, two, two, four, five. Damn. All right, so I'm not rolling well. It's kind of set up for you to lose. Uh, but I've gotten lucky before. And but not this time. There's also a special die that you can find in the world. He's actually using one. You can see that he's got a maroon. Damn, another bust. Um, he's got a maroon die that is, oh, he just won. Oh, almost, almost. He might win right here or go bust. Ooh. He's going to go for the win. Bust, 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 bust. Nice. All right. So that bought me another turn. Yoga tomorrow, 545. Be there. Yuck. In the morning. I didn't even know there was a 5.45 in the morning. Yeah, good for you. Oof. Getting there early, yeah, I'll say so. Bust again. Oh my god. Okay, so this is just finish the game, Nightingale. I'm I'm one, 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 two, three, okay. 
Oh yeah, Mr. Lobash is a master of the discipline, that's for sure. He is we'll see. a true inspiration. Another one. Is he going to take the score? This no, he's going to go for the win. Wow. Okay, so he actually just cleared all of his die, which means he gets to roll that's all six again. So he's about to win right here. He has these 150 points, which... Yep, he just nailed it. All right, cool. Thank God. That's over. Um... <laughs> so me and Nightingale hang out. We watch or we play some games. We have a great time. Now, just one more thing, and we're done for the. Now night. we didn't win the tourney, Bringing but that's okay because. Uh, closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? Uh, I don't know how it was in because I, we wouldn't have won it anyway, so I didn't want to waste our time doing it, but. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. Love that. See. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind. I'll do that. Before I forget. All right. It's illegal to walk without the torch. So let's go ahead and get our torch out. Even for a guard, illegal to walk without the torch. It's like they don't want people stealing from or something. But it's also like, where's your torch, asshole? Huh? 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 Yeah. Good day to you. <laughs> Good luck to you. All right, so we got to run all the way to the other end of town. This is probably my least favorite part of the mission because it's very like there and back again. Just plodding along. <laughs> I went to a wedding party at a bar with a punching bag machine that gauges how hard you hit it. I punched it so hard with my entire body that my pants ripped off. Good times, says Chili Santa. Well, if you haven't punched your own pants off, have you really punched at all? All right, bell is rung. Time to. I love that that little bell is going to close the bars that are a mile up the road. Now I gotta run all the way back. All the way back. But yeah, that's still a mean punch. Nicely done. All right. It's a and long. That's a long mission. That's a very long mission. In Olimutz was so drunk. <laughs> He dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and <laughs> rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> Did you find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean. The beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save the bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. Curfew's oh, right. been run. That's rude. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Oh, boy. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you... Oh no! Yeah. He shows it. Here Maybe we go. Time to, to punch to off to some dress pants. Hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff, the bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Ooh. Is he here? What is he it's hiding under the table? Maybe. <laughs> no. Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened. The yet. man is Enough. wearing dress pants. You can't talk to me like that. Aim for I'm his a sternum. Nobleman. Come now, sirs. 
You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Here we go. Easy, tiger. Listen, pal, I'm just trying to do my job. All right? Mirka. Mirka. Come and get to the top of lesson. So it's only... Okay, there we go. Now it's self-defense. How about one of this, huh? Ooh, right in the... Right in the moneymaker. They're all drunk. Yeah, they're just... <laughs> farting in the bathhouse. That's hot. All right. I think I won that exchange. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you. This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. So, Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? Easter and you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> like being dressed down like a like a like a child. Drinking and chasing. That's races, that. That which can't be good in that situation. Paid any attention at all Oof. to your duties, and now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. Sounds fun. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Oh, here we go. Absolutely no little odd couple action. Commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's Promotion. time you learned how to behave. I love that. I love that Henry is just stumbling ass Let's backwards go. into Tell promotions and better situations. Mainly through fist fights. It's great. It's a really smart move. All right. Game saved. Uh, close the traders. Oop, I got a. All right. So that's that mission. Boom. So in the morning, I will be tasked to go and uh, and hunt with Lord Capon. Uh, sounds like high school. Very much so. Yeah. Uh, we aren't going to undertake that mission because I can't believe we've already flown through this stream tonight. That is absolutely crazy how quick this went. And this was the second one. Uh, it kind of does feel like the second one was a bit more of almost an extended tutorial. But we got a lot of great info in. We practiced some lockpicking. Um, and I think... So let's see. So the game's saved. We're going to head back. We're going to head back to the Rate Mill right now. We're going to zip down here. Oop. There we are. Now let's see, we've got a few minutes left, not enough to go hunting with Hans Capon. But perhaps long enough to, maybe we can make it to Ushitz. What do we think? Do we try to make it? Oh, that is a bit of a hike, isn't it? Okay, so that's a very, very long hike. But we need to accomplish something before we get to the end here. And there's so much left to do. Let's see. Let's see. I think we could... What do you think, friends? Do we try to go flirt with Teresa? I will in the morning. So we've only got a few minutes. we got, you know, about roughly 10 minutes left. I wonder if we extend it a little bit, if we could make it to Ushitz and learn how to read by the end of tonight. It's, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tough to get there in 10 minutes. But what do you think, friends? And I can't sleep, or I can't flirt with Teresa yet because she is sleeping. Which 
Um, good morning. All right, but we're going to huff it. We're going to... Yeah, let's go try to read. That's going to be the climactic crescendo of tonight's experience is learning to read. Super exciting. All right, so let's see. Where where can I get a horse? Because I'm going to steal somebody's horse. Hmm. Do it, says John Hall. Yes, absolutely. I agree. We're going to make it. All right. All right, so timer started basically right now. We've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes to get to Ushitz in one piece. Luckily, the game is saved, so we're okay. Um, horse, 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 horse. If I was a horse, where would I be? <laughs> Whistles in Gandalf. He's been my friend through many dangers. Uh-oh. Shadow effects. Oh, okay. So that is actually. Oh, yeah. There's a few Easter eggs in this game, and uh, and let's just say you're you're warm with that one, Miss Marin. Okay. So first things first. I'm gonna stop and get this ring to this other guy. It's on the way. Ooh, actually, you know what? That's too far. Well, I will. One of, the, <laughs> one of the Hobbit's ponies would show up for sure. Uh, like a Shadow Mare in Skyrim. Yes, there's a... Uh, yeah, there's little Easter eggs kind of sprinkled throughout this game. Referencing other fantasy and, and high RPG level games. Uh, which is just perfect. Because this game knows what it is. It's, you know, it was designed to be exactly what it is. And... Uh, but it is really, really great when they kind of throw a wink to to the things that came before it. Okay, interesting sites, by the way. So as the name implies, usually have something interesting in them. Uh, typically, you'll find just like some moonshine or something like that in a in a basket. Uh, sometimes you'll find treasure, sometimes a grave. Graves are, although morbid, can be really helpful. Ah, see, look at this. Yeah, moonshine, called it. But always a good idea to uh, to stop and check out some interesting sites. Oof, all right, we got a ways to go. Where would I be if I was a horse? Morals are for squares. Yeah, for real. Like, I could kill this guy. I could kill this guy right now. And no one would know. Wayfarer. Um, yeah, so I think, uh, as we're kind of getting down there, again, we've got the goal. We're going to head to Ushitz to get there, learn to read, which is amazing. You can do it in a few days. All right, so we're coming up on the, on the thing. Well, if you're going to kill the guy, you got to at least, yeah, Chili Santa, you got to at least sell his gear afterwards. You got to do that. Fair is fair. All right, so. Hopefully, I don't think I can get across from here, unfortunately. Uh-oh. We're going to not go in any yep. further. We might drown. Yeah, it's a, it is always, no matter what, a no-go on swimming. Yeah, I'm putzing around. We're on, a, we're on a crunch. I mean, it's not a big deal. We can definitely go a minute or two over, but. And we're taking a little detour anyway. Either way, you know what? We have to we have to learn how to read. We'll take as long as we need to learn to read. Uh yes, there is a fast travel in this game, Chili. Absolutely. Um but I, I don't have the spots unlocked, so you do have to get to the location that you want to fast travel to, and then... Uh, 
lockpick. There we go. Uh, and only once you've been to that location can you then uh, fast travel Jesus to it again. Be praised. Miller Peshek from Ratoy sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. What the? Why did you throw it away? Like I said, it's a piece of junk. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles. Nice. All right, so I can now sell him uh, stolen goods as well. God be with you. Ah, uh, you know what? I oh, oh crap! I'm gonna ask if I can help with anything. Help with Just in time. You may have heard that Sir Robot of Townburg, the commander of the guard. It's like this. Uh, All right, so basically, I'm gonna go steal some wafer rocks. Uh, which are basically done. like little covers, what am I to do with armor covers. I and I'm going to blame it on the, the on one of the guards. This guy is just kind of a pot stirrer. He's trying to cause some issues with the uh, people in the cities. All right, we got some running to do. Now I could actually, you know what? Just for just for fun, let's do this. Uh, Chili just asked about this. We're going to fast travel to Tomberg. Now, what this does, this does not permanently. Uh, unveil your map. It actually, it will, you know, as it's showing, it disperses the clouds, but then once you're gone, it doesn't do it. If you run there yourself, you can actually, uh, you can get there and, and uncover the map as you go, if that made sense. Oh, funny. This is the horse that I stole. And it's blocking my path. That's, I was going to go in there and steal a horse. Hmm. Ah, we're close enough. I can just I'll just run there. I don't wanna I don't wanna cause any trouble. We're gonna cause some trouble. It's just a little horse theft. Said not to move, but I think I'm gonna move anyway. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little the controls yeah. on the horse are pretty awkward on a keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, is this really as fast as you can go? There we go. All right. Oh, we're going to make it now. We're going to make it. Now, this is probably my favorite part of the game is being deep in the forest. I absolutely love it. It feels alive. It, like you can feel the moisture on the leaves. It's just incredible. Ooh, now that right there was a trap. Yep. So you just saw that. Uh, that tree was covering the road. That was literally a trap set up by bandits. Uh, so I was, you can see the, the silver swords underneath my map compass, uh, indicating that I'm in danger. I'm not in active combat right now, but they're chasing me. Feels like home again, yes. It's so pretty, isn't it? It just feels alive. It feels great. I love it. Getting pretty close now. Coming up on the back side of Ushitz. Uh oh, I think I might be in a tough spot. Nice. All right, nailed it. Uh, so this is a great town to get to early game. One, learn how to read ASAP. That'll just it's just gonna make it so much easier to do a lot of things. Um, but also, there's an archery contest right here, uh, or, uh, no, pretty close to it. Anyway, close by, and you can make a lot of dough and up your archery game, your agility, all those things, and boom, fast travel point, nice. All right, I'm going to leave this guy a little out of town so I can mount him without, uh, will this horse stick with you? No, he will dip, but, or actually, I think it'll stay there, but, uh, it'll stay there, but it, it, it will appear as, anytime I get on it, 
it'll count as stolen, even in this town where people have never seen him before. Oh, climb over the damn fence, Henry. Thank you. I'm I'm here to learn how to how to read. <laughs> Alright, is this my guy? This is my guy. Clear off before I have you thrown out. Sorry, buddy. Just trying to find oh wrong wrong building. There it is. Ah, uh, yes, it'll be recognized as stolen. Exactly. That's not you. There you are. All right. What's up, Scribe? God be with you. He's got black eyes. That's terrifying. I'd like to learn to read, please. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. Sure. Yeah. All right. I don't want to waste time. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though. And 50 bucks? No problem. Your groschen. Then we may as well. <laughs> okay, so if you're okay with it, I'm going to kind of cook through this a little bit because it's pretty simple. Better than to dishonor it here. Um, so you're going to go through two different tests, essentially. So he's teaching you how to do it. A couple days pass. And then he says, all right, read the book. There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. Uh, and so as you can see, so now Come words are starting to, to form. Back. One Eddie, a country mnya, going to hit nests of the goose, banud, hair, na egg, al lelo, and glitter and gathering. So it's just really interesting how it slowly sort of becomes words. And then he's like, all right, so what does it mean? I've read the book. Wonderful. Uh, so basically but he's being asking. greedy doesn't pay. Yeah. Excellent. Like I told you, books are valuable. Does that mean that I can read then? <laughs> yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson. There's a book on the table with some text. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. All right, so now a quick jump to Latin. Uh, istruest illibre tam marsu, ud non eloqua aparte prosit libri muti amgistri snult. What must orator est que posci verbis plurmino lidema sit? Now, this one's a little trickier. You can't chop someone's leg off with a pen. Not very quickly. All right, I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Now, the easiest way to figure out which one of these it is, is look at all three options, and you'll see that Nutus set the libertine manus ut non alic part drop it. The last three words are English, or clear English. Same thing with the third. Dullest liver, a liquor party prophet. That's clearly not it. This is the only one written entirely in Latin. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus uh, ut non aliqua uh, parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent! Excellent. Thank you. All right. And there we are. We have now learned how to read with relative ease. We are an educated, simple blacksmith boy. An educated potato boy. I'd say that's a pretty, pretty solid way to round off tonight. That was absolutely phenomenal. It is shocking to me that that was three hours. I can't believe that already we're at the end of it here. Um, that is that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. And uh, I, I feel like we did a lot and yet nothing at the same time. Really nicely balanced. Um, this is, like I've been saying, a massive game. There's so much to see. There's so much to do. The story does really pick up. It gets going and there's so many amazing twists and turns. I'm hoping that you're all enjoying it because I really want to keep showing this off at least for a little bit longer. Uh, you know, I, 
I might do a few more things to kind of move it forward a little bit in the uh, in the combat, archery, lockpicking. I'm going to do some things to boost up Henry's skills to get us prepared for the later game so we can kind of work through, work our way through the story um, if you're all okay with that. That said, if you all want to see like every detail, you want to see all the ins and outs of this game, you know, drop a comment on the video or let me know in the Discord or or throw it, uh, you know, throw, throw your pins... But throw your opinion out there no matter what it may be we'd love to hear from you uh but either way i want to keep showing this game off so i would say expect a monday night stream from me at 7 p.m for those who are new around here that's going to be every monday 7 p.m here at real world we're gonna have a great time matthew else is here dropping at the very end here great stream y'all have a good night well you as well matthew thank you so much for being here and thanks for stopping on in uh if you're this far into the video everyone and you haven't yet please feel free to hit that like button for me uh hit the share button as well make sure you've clicked the subscribe bell and the notification thing to let you know whenever i'm releasing any sort of videos um but either way i can't wait to do this again uh keep your eyes peeled there's a possibility a slim one for something this weekend very very slim i don't know if it's gonna go through or not but uh keep your eyes peeled on something like that but either way monday night for sure i'll be back here with bells on uh ready to get back into some more kingdom come deliverance action so thank you so very much everyone for being here have a great rest of your night take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always stay real we'll see you soon take care everyone